Bagakure. As a child, you studied nothing but killing techniques. Many lose their lives during the training that you endured, but survivors achieve superhuman bodies. That makes sense. Since you're from Iwagakure, breaking a sword with your flesh is a simple task, right? Yeah, exactly. And that guy was so shitty with a sword, I didn't even need ninjutsu. You can use ninjutsu? Would you mind demonstrating for me? Why? Just my personal interest? Then no. Burn him at the stake! Burning at the stake is traditionally the punishment for arson. Searing the flesh creates unbearable pain while the extreme heat causes muscles to shrink, which contorts the body so severely that the bones are broken. Ultimately, the target dies either by suffocation or by poisoning from the smoke. This execution method is known to be particularly painful. In some cases, the person is killed beforehand as an act of mercy. Uh, sorry about that. What? But how? The flames are so high! Believe me, despite what it looks like, this isn't on purpose. If anything, I want you to kill me. If you say so. If you're not looking at me anyway, you might as well give me some clothes. Please? Your nudity doesn't make a difference either way. My job is to create a record. Continue. <sighs> so you wanted to know my background? It's pretty dull. That's my job. My parents? No clue. I know they were killed by the village chief when I was a baby. But I don't know why. It doesn't bother me. Dreams? None. Shinobi don't have some grand purpose. They just kill as they're told. How did I get captured? Well, let's see if I remember. I tried to leave the village, but my cohorts betrayed me and I got caught while I was out on a job. I assume the chief put them up to it. It's forbidden for anyone to leave the village. I don't blame them. So, what made you want to run away in the first place? An execution by bulls! In this form of execution, ropes attached to the target's legs are tied to bulls. Human legs can withstand up to 500 kilograms of force, but a bull can exert up to 950 kilograms. This method not only removes the legs, but splits the victim in two from groin to chest. Indestructible body? Not that. Despite your claims that you didn't want to live, it still appeared as though you were resisting. Why would a person with no will to live? No. Actually, tell me why you wanted to get away from the village. Do you still refuse to answer that question? Who cares about the record? Hurry up and- Please let me work. Uh, ma'am? The bulls- Please let me work! All right. Please let me- it's nothing interesting. I was the best in Iwagakure. The chief held me in high regard, and I ended up getting married to his daughter. But as it turned out, that girl was a complete idiot. How does a shinobi, let alone the chief, have a daughter who's that stupid? Her sheltered childhood made her naive, and she turned my entire life upside down. Remove your shoes when you're inside the house. And you should always remember to pray at least once every day. Say thanks for the meal at dinner. To show respect for the life we've taken. After a while, I got fed up with her. I was afraid I'd lose my edge. 
If those are your feelings, then there's nothing to be done. All right, I'm prepared to honor your wishes, but there is one final thing that I'd like you to do for me first. I knew I'd been set up. But I also knew his cohorts would follow me, even if I got away. I'd fallen into their trap. I realized I'd been foolish to defy the chief in the first place. So I just surrendered. And that's it. It's kind of a boring reason. Uh, I hope you'll forgive me if I'm speaking out of turn. But because you're a woman, I don't think you should involve yourself with him. Has anyone told you what his name is? Former Shinobi from Iwagakure. Dabimaru, correct? Well, there's another name he goes by. Gabimaru the Hollow. He's empty. No blood or tears. That monster slaughtered 20 men when they arrested him. They say the shinobi from there takes some drink. It's known as the Elixir of Life. The legendary medicine of immortality that comes from Shinsenkyu. The Elixir. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sure I must sound crazy. But regardless of all that, he's dangerous. I doubt that somehow. Uh. Well, if he's really so hollow, then why fight 20 men to live? There'd be no reason. Despite your claims that you didn't want to live, it still appeared as though you were resisting. She's right. What am I doing? I have no attachment to life. So why don't I just die already? Tomorrow? When they try to execute me again, that's when I'll end it. Death by boiling, also known as death by cauldron, uses a massive amount of hot oil. However, the oil combusts at a temperature of 370 degrees Celsius. So the earthen pots commonly used in the Edo period were unable to withstand the heat for very long. Why won't I die? Why keep suffering? I have no attachments. I should be empty. You little rat! How am I to kill you? <sighs> Sir, it's done. The arrangements have been made. I'll begin when you're ready. What kind of execution this time? And how long are you going to keep trying? It's starting to get old for me. <laughs> we finally found a way to shut you up for good. <laughs> Don't be mistaken, this woman isn't just another inspector. She's a sword tester, sent to us from Edo. Meet the executioner, Yamada Asaimon Sagari! The term Yamada Asaimon is the trade name for the ronin of the renowned Yamada clan. These extremely skilled warriors have offered their talents as sword testers and executioners for many generations. They are a clan of master swordsmen, able to behead a target with a single blow. You are a female, Asaimon. That's correct, yes. And you're Gabimaru of Ishu, the runaway shinobi I've been ordered to cut down. You wanted someone to kill you. I'm here to grant your wish. If anyone can end my life, it's her. Uh. Quick, Sagari! Kill him where he stands! As you wish, sir. Why did you dodge my blade? You would have died if you had stayed still. I would 
Really? Do I not want to die? Why not? Thanks to my profession, I've seen death, time after time, and I've learned how people feel during their final moments. One's true self is reflected in the blade. Some try to appear brave as they face death. Others frantically beg for mercy. And of course, some lie to themselves and say they've accepted their fates. What? Lie? Gabimaru the Hollow. One thing is obvious. You are empty inside. After hearing your story, anyone would know that much. But you lied about something. Not wanting to live. It seems you do have an attachment. Because you love your wife. In fact, not only do you treasure her, but she's your reason for living, isn't she? And pray at least once every day. Say thanks for the meal. We should always do our best to live ordinary lives, so we can be like normal people. You. <laughs> I know I'm right. So why do you continue to lie to yourself? It was impossible to kill you because of the deep feelings you have for her. Do you not care about life? Or is that just what you've decided to tell yourself all this time? I've heard enough! You have no idea! You don't know anything about me! Or about the world that I've lived in! I am hollow! Don't be silly. You're not hollow. You're wrong. That nickname suits me. I'm so used to ugly things. Which means... Ugly is all I can give you. I have to disagree. You're a kind person. After all, most people are disgusted by my face. But you're different. <laughs> I don't know, maybe being used to ugly things isn't so bad. <coughs> In Iwagakure, men are soldiers, and the women just bear children. We're not allowed to live independently as people. That's what happened in my face. My father wanted me to give up on living a typical woman's life, so he burned it. Fortunately, it isn't that easy to destroy a person's heart. Maybe, but... Hmm? Huh? <laughs> what did you do that for? <laughs> See? Look how much you're blushing. There's just no way a person like you could be hollow. My name is Gabi Mato the Hollow! And I'm nothing but a heartless monster! <laughs> No matter how hard I try, I can't be human! I'll quit killing people for a living. We'll live as an ordinary couple. The chief won't mind it. He knows that's what's best for his daughter. I'll stop killing. We'll live somewhere quiet, keeping to ourselves. We'll be normal. Shut up! You know that's impossible! But it isn't! Wait, what? I've come here with an official pardon from the Shogunate. Not only does it clear you of all charges, but if you receive it, you'll be guaranteed the Shogun's protection. So with this pardon, you'd be safe from the Magistrate's office and the village's shinobi. Really? But... I don't understand. However, it comes with a condition. You will go to the Underworld. Huh? Like where you go when... you die? That's right. You're telling me to die? Well, no. There is a land called Shinsenkyo. A place without pain, brimming with fertility and joy. Since ancient times, believers have known it by many names. 
paradise, the other side, or heaven. It was said to lie far to the southwest, somewhere beyond the Ryukyu kingdom. And now, finally, it's been found. Butterflies dancing among the flowers, voices singing in the distance. It's just as the legends described it. Supposedly, the immortality-granting elixir of life can be found there. So the Shogunate sent a search party, hoping to bring back the powerful elixir. However... Expeditions were sent out, but not a soul returned. Only the things their bodies became. What? I still don't get it. What kind of story was that? It sounds like some fairy tale. Yes, everyone believed that it was fiction. Until they saw that. Human bodies turning into flowers. How mysterious. It sounds quite mystical, doesn't it? This means the legendary place is real, and the sweet elixir of life can be found there. We'll need expendable people for the next expedition. We'll assemble a group of criminals from all over who've been condemned to death. Whomever is able to bring back the elixir of life shall receive a pardon. I came to identify potential candidates for the assignment. People with skill who feel an unrelenting desire to live. On my way here, I learned the whereabouts of your wife. She's still waiting for you in Iwagakure. The day you were captured, she shut herself away. No one's heard her breathe a word. It seems that she believes you're going to return. I'll ask you again. Do you have any attachment to life? Traveling to a mysterious island to compete for a pardon. Battling heinous criminals condemned to death. That is the only way for you to be reunited with your beloved. Gabimaru, will you risk death for a life with her? The choice is yours. That's ridiculous! I'm not setting this man free to chase after some fairy tale! The Shogunate has commanded it. He's a dead man walking. There are plenty of others just like him. Stand in my way and I'll be glad to execute you both. Are you listening, Hollow? They call me Hollow. Heartless. It isn't that easy to destroy a person's heart. You said you wanted to see Ninjutsu? This'll do. Then let me show you. Minpo ascetic blaze. Impressive. <laughs> Alright then. Elixir of life, huh? I'll go find it for you. So, where do I start looking? I'd like you to come with me. We'll travel to Edo and then we can... Uh, making a detour to Edo sounds like a pain. Can't we just go directly to the island? He went from indifferent to insufferable. We'll call it off if you'd like. No, I'll do whatever I need to. My mind's completely made up. Doesn't matter how many criminals I have to face. I will make it back alive! For your sake. Welcome, condemned criminals, to this important meeting. This is His Excellency the 11th Sei Taishogun, Tokugawa Nariyoshi. Under normal circumstances, none of you would have had a chance to meet him. 
What was that? It can't be safe to gather them in one place. This is what the Shogunate wanted. A thief who killed 30 people. Tanio Seikichi. Serial arsonist, Nikimaru. Former constable turned killer, Kido Shukan. They're all criminals who have caused great harm. Uh, I can barely breathe. At least let me see Tokugawa. Be quiet. We've brought you here to give special orders. You will travel to Shinsenkyo and return with the legendary elixir of life in hand. The one who succeeds is to be rewarded with an official pardon. This is the certificate that you will receive. That changed their attitudes. <laughs> if I had that, I could go on another killing spree. Adachi Matagoro, a violent fiend who killed only women and children for fun. He's purely evil and better off dead. Could I kill someone like him without hesitation? <laughs> Are you Gabimaru the Hollow? I could tell by your build and hair color. You're a bit of a celebrity in our line of work. Although... I have to say I'm disappointed. You're scrawnier and more wretched looking than the rumors say. Not to mention you've been caught. This isn't what I pictured at all. Sorry to let you down. I was wary of him at first, but... Now he's so listless, like he's a different person. Is he just another criminal in the crowd? Or is he even more sinister, the way the rumors describe him? I will now read you a brief description of your destination. This island, known by some we as Paradise... That. Skip the speech! What is this, a fairy tale? <laughs> Remove your masks, then you'll see it. <laughs> Ah, I can finally breathe! <laughs> this man was the only sergeant to return to us alive from the previous expedition. As you can see, he has lost his humanity. When he reached home, his body was covered with lumps. And the next day, they began to bloom. The remaining 60 members of the expedition are still missing, most likely dead. But considering he's our only source of information, we don't have any clue as to what took place on the island. Wait a minute! You didn't tell us it would be this dangerous! I don't see any issue! Blossoming with flowers? I can't think of a more mystical demise! And I doubt you lot are worthy of such a fate! Say that one more time! Hey, what's the matter with you? Quit mocking us! That's enough out of you! You're all criminals sentenced to death! And yet, despite that, you've been given a chance to travel to paradise! Shame on you! Spitting in the face of charity! Hey! You don't know anything about this place, right? What happens if the elixir's not even there? Exactly! Does it still count if we come back empty-handed? They've got excuses for everything. If you don't like what we're offering, then you can refuse to do it. No one's forcing you. Good! This old thing gives me the creeps. Help me out. If I'm gonna die, I'd rather rot in jail with my men. One more thing I forgot to mention. Upon your arrival at the island, you will be assigned monitors. What? But who's going to... <laughs> You're a group of criminals who have been given the death penalty. And it will be no different on the island. Therefore... <laughs> if you're out of line at any point on this mission, you will be decapitated on the spot. The esteemed Yamada Asaiman will be serving as your monitors. And knowing that they're from the Yamada clan, 
I'd be on my best behavior, lest you suffer the same fate as he did. You'll be beheaded if your monitor dies, regardless of whether their death was by accident or homicide. If your monitor is not with you when the group departs, you'll be left behind. Really? Yes. All right, then. I can't tell. He's either very brave or very stupid. A word, please. Ah, uh, right. Actually, there's one more issue to address. Before you all depart, we need to reduce your numbers. What? We won't be able to send this many passengers to the island. There aren't enough Osaimon available, and the ship's capacity is extremely limited. So we would like you to narrow down the list of candidates for us. Narrow down? You're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? You just want us to trim the fat a little bit, don't you? <laughs> what are you doing? That can't be what they're asking us oh, to- Oh yeah? Then why aren't they saying anything? What are they telling us to off each other? So it's kill or be killed, right? Well, I suppose that's one way to look at it. And those who die here wouldn't have survived very long anyway. Oh, and none of you are to untie your hands. is entertainment. In this day and age, it's rare to witness a battle to the death, and this is a bloodbath! <laughs> I've always dreamed of seeing one! The Shogun's an idiot. What purpose could such a thing possibly serve? This is no way to judge their abilities. Their hands are tied. It's chaos. Even the ones who survive will be useless. Ah, uh, yes. Which criminals are the ones with red seals? Huh? Oh, right. Well, a few of them were marked with red seals in the registry. It simply indicates that these particular criminals possess exceptional skill. Honestly, one might even describe their abilities as superpowers. That man is one of them. Despite his young age, he's an impressive specimen who established and led a bandit village deep in the mountains of Io. That woman there is a Konoichi. Last year, she participated in the invasion of Sagiwa Castle and single-handedly neutralized every last retainer inside. <laughs> That's Blade Dragon, the master swordsman who is unparalleled in eight provinces. That massive fellow is rumored to eat bears head first. They say that neither sword nor spear can harm him. <laughs> A warring state's picture scroll come to life! Of all these criminals, the most famous one here is Gabimaru the Hollow. Observe, sir. Wait, what's this? He hasn't moved at all. What's he doing? Feeling overwhelmed, Sagiri? Reason, Dono. After we get there, it'll be far worse than this. They won't just fight each other. You'll have a target on your back as well. When something happens, can you kill? You won't like what I'm about to say, and I'm sorry. But I have to be honest with you. You're not fit for this job. Why would a woman choose to live so violently? The daughter of a warrior should enjoy a quiet life in her mansion. Far away from the fate of an executioner. With all due respect, I couldn't. Given the choice, I would have, Izendono.
testing swords on human bodies, beheading criminals, making medicines from corpses. And the Yamada clan, even if you never pick up a sword, your living is made on people's deaths. Choice. We'll never get out of here unless we take out the Samara. But boss, we'll just start off by killing the woman. Then we can take your sword and finish this. Can you handle him? I can't escape the executioner's fate, but I won't accept it quietly. I refuse. I'll discover for myself what my fate is going to be. People is never okay. <gasps> Isn't there some other way to decide who goes? You survived? Stay away! Just because we're murderers doesn't mean we all want it to be. Guards, dispose of him! I'm not going to sit back and let you do this. You dare to defy His Excellency? The nerve! I don't know, it's pretty easy to avoid killing somebody if you don't want to. It's the most natural thing there is. If you don't desire to participate in this assignment, you can always forfeit your chance. It's up to you. <sighs> You're not listening. You! Over there! Me? If you can kill this man, then I will permit you to go on the expedition. Huh? That sounds good to me. <laughs> Just stay right where you are, pal. Wait a second. You guys don't like pointless killing either, do you? It's all about survival, which means if bashing your brains in is what it takes for me to live, then I'm all for it! You can't just dodge! Let's talk this through. If you're not gonna fight, then just shut up and die already! <sighs> Alright. There's no choice. You're dead. <gasps> if you try to kill me, then you're dead. Uh, but... You said you didn't want to kill anybody. I don't. But my life's at risk. And I can't afford to die either. So that's that. Huh? What do you mean? It weighs on me. Knowing the burden I'm about to take on. <sighs> what a shame. Man, this sucks. Oh, 
he's a monster! So that's him. The Hollow. It weighs on me. Knowing the burden I'm about to take on. Look at that. His method of killing is barbaric. Would you prefer I made it look pretty? Perhaps what I really needed wasn't to rid myself of the fear of killing. But to learn how to carry the burden of that fear and of the lives that I take. Are you all right? You seem upset. I did fear this might be too heavy a task for you. No. I'm fine. I will kill him. Enough, criminals! No more fighting! We have our expedition party. Azza Chobe, the Bandit King. Tamiya Gantetsusai, the Sword Dragon. Twisted Keyun, the Hunter of 100. Nurugai of the Sanka. Horubo, the Killing Prayer. Runaway Shinobi. Gabimaru the Hollow. Akaginu, the Cannibal Courtesan. Kunoichi Yuzuriha of Keishu. Moro Makia, the Apostate. And Rokurota, the Giant of Bizen. So ten criminals in total. And a group of executioners. Each of you will be accompanied on this perilous journey by an Asaiman of the Yamada clan. You will all board a ship, sail to the uncharted island in the southern sea, and find the elixir of life. Succeed and you will be free! But do not be afraid! After all, your destination has been called Paradise. Heaven! Shinsen's joke! There is no- What is this? It's so fantastical. If the elixir is real, this seems like the kind of place it would be found. It's gorgeous. By gorgeous, you mean creepy, I assume. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to the kind of plant life that exists here. It's just not natural. Which means... Who knows what we'll find. Be careful. You're forbidden to unbind yourself. Ah, uh, you can't expect me to stay tied up. I'm acting on the Shogun's will. My job is to keep an eye on a vicious criminal. If you attempt to disobey in any manner, then I can't overlook it. Now bind your hands. Can't you let it slide? Just this one time? Man, everything about this trip is stupid. They only gave us rations for three days, and our one clue is this drawing. Kinda makes me think they don't actually care whether we find the thing or not. I said, find your hands. You seem to be confused about something. I'm an executioner tasked with following you, not your ally. If you fail to locate the elixir of life, and don't receive a pardon from the shogunate, then it doesn't change things for me in the slightest. So tie your hands together, or I will decapitate you. <sighs> Fine, whatever. If it means that much to you. All that I want to do is see my wife again. I'll try to go along with your conditions. But let's keep it reasonable. <laughs> was easy. Already got my first kill. Poor little idiot. That's why he shouldn't have let his guard down in a place like this. He deserved to. Wow. You surprised me. Uh, that didn't kill you? I'm fine. Just dislocated my neck. Anyway, look at him. Right. That's Twisted Kayun, one of the ten criminals. He's a warrior monk who became obsessed with weapons during his training. 
They say he's stolen over a hundred of them from other warriors. No, that's not what I meant. I was just saying his hands aren't tied. Uh, that's no matter. Well, no, it does matter. Um, why is that, Kisho Dono? Explain! I see you're still as rigid as ever. Not to worry, we can retie them on the return trip. I can't be bothered to argue with this lowlife about such things. Did you hear that? Honest to a fault, which is why you're ranked the lowest. <laughs> you may not know this, but all of the Asaimon are ranked. As for Sagiri here... There's no need to get into a discussion about that right now. Hey! Look, Gabimaru the Hollow. Don't you dare ignore me. Seems you're as bold as the rumors say. I'm glad to see it. Maybe you can help me out with something. I've been dying to test out my arsenal. You see, weapons only shine after they drink blood. Aren't they beautiful? And you get to experience them firsthand. Listen, weirdo. You can stand like your swords if you want. But I can't let the others get ahead. This is the best strategy. We've no idea where the elixir of life is. So I think it's smarter to kill off all the other criminals first. Then I can take my sweet time searching for the elixir. And you'll be the first to go. Hollow. <sighs> We're only here to supervise you. You're welcome to slaughter each other. Be my guest. <sighs> but I'd rather not go through the hassle. Plus my wife would be sad if I killed somebody. Well, I have to. Go on and try! Tie your hands. You're kidding. <laughs> okay, that should do it. How convenient. You'll be the perfect target to test my weapons on. Sorry, no time! He launched his full body weight using just that pole. How? It'd be a lot easier if my hands weren't tied together. In a single blow? <laughs> that armor is sewn directly into his skin. What an outlandish thing to do. Hollow, is that the best you got? Get serious. Talk about a total waste of time. Let's go look for that elixir. Uh, and my hands are still tied, by the way. Oh, right. Good. <laughs> well then, I suppose I should head back now. You don't want to fight me first? As I told you, we are neither your friends nor your enemies. If our assigned criminal dies, then we simply bring back his head. Now, time to go home to my bath. Kisho Dono, 60 people have gone missing on this island. Be careful during your journey back. Perhaps you should worry about yourself instead. I'm the lucky one for getting out this quickly. The man standing next to you is a deadly criminal. Don't be so foolish as to think you're safe just because his hands are tied. I've already seen so much. Even as we were approaching the shore. Some tried to narrow the field before we landed. Others made alliances. Or at least pretended to. These are people who didn't follow the rules before. So, why would they fall into line now? They'll survive by any means necessary. Just as they've always done. But... If they break the rules, they won't be awarded the pardon. That's why I called you rigid. Samurai live by the Shogun's word first. But what truly matters most are a person's priorities. Find the elixir. Everything else comes after that. 
The Shogunate wants us to achieve our objective. Don't you think they'd rather we break a few rules than obey them and fail? Plus, rules are illusions. They don't function unless you can depend on everyone to follow them. For some people, they don't mean anything at all. Just look at this man. Would you like me to take care of him for you? <laughs> We're pretty short on time as it is, you know. So let's get past the stupid jokes. All I want to do is get back to my wife. The rest of it doesn't matter. <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> You're right. You are short on time. Here's my prediction. In a few hours, we'll see another major change. Rokurota, you must be hungry. Criminals will die, and the others will die moments later. In less than a day, there will be only one left. Don't forget, you're expendable. If we lose too many, they'll send more. They what? Hatori's messenger's been sent off to Ishu. The Shogunate's made contact with the new Iwagakure, I'm sure. <laughs> the Asaiman aren't a monolith either, you know. Rumor has it, this job will determine our next leader. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's enough to light a fire under some of our cohorts. Not that I'm interested. Farewell. Don't let the prisoners catch you off guard. You've been warned. He's right. Even though we've traveled together for days now, I still don't understand this man's true character. But... All right. Which way should we? Why did you do that? I wanted to kill you quickly and painlessly, but you stopped me. I knew it. I can see his true nature. So the moment they had a child, they asked permission to leave the village? These two were such pathetic excuses for Jonin. I shall raise this young man to be better than that. Understood. Take a close look at them, Gabimaru. These worms are the picture of weakness. All emotions make a person weak, even love between a parrot and child. Unless you're strong, you'll never be able to protect anything. Let alone the people you care for most. If you kill your monitor, then you've broken the rules. It's all about priorities. That's what your buddy said. If the Iwagakure make it to the island, everything goes up in smoke. Which means I have to find the elixir of life before that happens. It's nothing personal. You're just a hindrance. Killing me? That's your plan? Sometimes you don't have any other option. Sorry, but you have to die. He's more of a threat than I thought. His warped sense of morality makes him ruthless. I should cut him down at once. But... For some reason, I can't. I keep... Hesitating. Again. I should have been able to kill her just now. Why am I holding myself back? Why? If you want my opinion, I think not wanting to kill anybody else is a perfectly normal way to feel.
That's absurd. I'm completely hollow inside. I don't feel anything now. You say that, but I just saw you turn bright red over a simple little kiss. If you feel something, then don't run from it. You know, you're not the same person you used to be. Having courage means being honest with yourself and facing your emotions. As long as you're that kind of person, I'll happily follow you anywhere, even if it means we end up leaving the village. After meeting my wife, I experienced a lot of emotions. But one of them was hatred. That wasn't the target we came here for. He said he was going to take revenge on my wife and my family. Wait! Just let me live! I've got a wife and child! Please, I can't die! I felt weakness, too. And now, there's that weakness again. Forget about earning the pardon. I won't even survive if I don't get past this. He's a violent criminal condemned to death. And yet, even though he's trying to kill me... The heart is just a nuisance that gets in the way. Unless you're strong, you'll never be able to protect anything. It's pointless to keep resisting. Surely you're skilled enough to know. You can't beat me like this. I don't care about all the other ones, but I already know that killing you is going to hurt me. So can you just die quietly? Killing me will hurt you? I thought you didn't have emotions anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I feel nothing. I am Gabimaru the Hollow. I've killed so many people, it's boring now. So what's one more kill going to do? It's all the same to me. That's the way I was raised. If you're weak, you can't protect anything. There's no doubt. This man is dangerous. Feelings are useless. Now die. Even so? What's wrong? Why am I hesitating? I'm not supposed to have any emotions. That's right. Since we met, every moment when I look at him, his expression's the same. Like he's trying his best to endure something. He's not a hollow shell with no feelings. That's just a lie he was taught as a child. He's a human being with emotions. And the time that I've spent watching him so far has allowed me to face my own as well. Come on. Have I really become this weak? At this rate, I'll never survive. I won't see my wife again. Not ever. That's not weakness. simply averting your gaze rather than running from your emotions. I believe that's a sign of strength. Having courage means facing your emotions. Please let me say that, at least. After all, you were the one who taught me to do that for myself. Is this really the time to say that? Well, your hands still aren't moving. Normally, I'd execute immediately. But I'll overlook it this time. If you regret the things you've done, 
face your feelings, and make the decision to reclaim your life for good, then I would like to be there to see it. If a man like you can change his life, then I want you to prove that to me. Let me see what you're truly capable of. I need to face my own emotions head on as well, so that I can become as strong as possible. The nature of our relationship hasn't changed at all, but somehow... You're not hollow. You're no longer the same person you used to be. What the hell are these? It seems unlikely, but they look like man-made objects. Understand. Look at it. An insect with a human face? That thing clearly isn't from our world. Uh, what? How? Don't get distracted. What the hell could be happening on this island? I wonder, is this really the other side? I don't know. How is it possible for these things to exist? Yeah. Finally, this trip is getting interesting. Questions. But now I can sense that even the island itself is a threat. <sighs> what a pain. I told you to stay back. Yeah, right. Okay, so it is alive. Always remember, Shinobi Rule Number 5. When faced with an unknown enemy, you must not engage. You might need to run. Should I bring her? Or go along? We should run for now. Escape this blood-soaked world. Just kill. 
I knew that this assignment would be risky. But this is something else. It's only been a few short hours, and my entire world has changed. It's such an otherworldly sight. Is this really paradise? Or perhaps... Your opponents. Having courage means being honest with yourself. Eliminate them. <laughs> uh, uh, Gabimaru, I should say I'm. <laughs> You killed all of those by yourself? Not bad, Hollow. Really, that was something else. Color me oh. impressed. So, my name's Yuzuriha. I happen to be a ninja just like you. We're totally twins. Two, Asaimon? That's odd. What did you do that for? <clears throat> Whenever someone lends you a hand, always remember to tell them thank you. Oh. Thank you for saving me. I'm grateful. Uh, look, it's a competition. So why did you help me like that? You must be after something. <laughs> Come on, don't be so uptight. The monsters are all gone now. I just think you've got talent, Gobby. I mean, you're still standing, despite all the bleeding. And didn't you save that girl's life a second ago? Hey, we should work together. Being on this big bad island is scary. I'll do anything you want me to. What do you say? Will you protect poor little me? Huh? Huh? Hey, wait, wait! Stop it! You're hurting me! Ow! What is your problem? I know the Kunoichi ways. <sighs> Seduction doesn't work against me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I should have expected that. Figured it was worth a try, though. Better to regret what you did than what you didn't do, right? Hmm. That said, working together would be a good move. After all, five is a whole lot safer than three. And that begs the question. I see you have two Asaimon with you. Why? Oh yeah, this guy. He's, uh... I'm Yamada Asaimon Genji. I came here to guard the apostate, the man called Moromakia. However, he was killed after this woman deceived him. Her foul tricks run contrary to Bushido. And I felt that a single Asaimon was insufficient to control her. So I decided I would accompany these two. Right. She seduced him. Understood. Women always were his weakness. He didn't stand a chance. Um, hello. I was her assigned monitor. I'm Yamada Asaimon Senta and... Uh... Yeah, anyway. Listen, we all saw it. This place is crawling with bugs and monsters and weird statues. So we're well aware of how dangerous it is here, right? Sure, it's important to grab the elixir as fast as possible, but charging in without a plan and dying would be idiotic. You're the one who called me disappointing before, aren't you? Oh, that doesn't sound like me, huh? It's fine. As long as both of you agree to it, you can work together. Sounds perfect! I love you, Gabimaru! <laughs> What did I do this time? I never said that I would do it. I can't just trust a Kunoichi. <laughs> What's so important about you trusting me? We're not kids anymore. <laughs> Who knows? I might betray you. Even if we do find the elixir, only one of us gets the pardon. I'm suggesting we use each other till plans have to change. But I get the feeling you're kind of scared of me. You're so naive. Sorry I made you mad, but I really need your help, Gobby. Trust me, you're wasting your time. Oh, boo. So what would I get out of all of this? I can give you some info. Lots of it. See? Here's an example. You guys seem pretty concerned about the monsters. 
But the real threats on this island are the bugs. Human-faced butterflies. They hover around the monsters, but we don't know where they nest or what else they do. Their scales seem to be full of poison and some kind of hallucinogen. How did you figure that out? <laughs> Moto Machia. I buddied up with him for a little bit, and he let me use him for a couple of tests. The centipedes are gross, but they won't hurt you. They only eat what's already dead. And how do you know that? Makia. Duh. There are some other bugs too, but they won't attack you unless you get close to them. Again, Makia. Is he still around? I played dead, so he'd let his guard down, and I killed him. I find the physical appearance of the monsters to be one of the more perplexing things about this. Their adornments often feature Buddhist or Taoist designs. Those two religious traditions are quite different, so it's abnormal to see them together. Not to mention the Buddhist statues. Based on what I've seen, I sincerely doubt this island is any kind of paradise. I agree. It's tempting to say it's all magic and leave it at that. But to my blade, at least, the anatomy of these monsters seems real enough. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff we don't know. Which is why we should work together and gather more information. I'd be happy to tell you everything I've got so far. Why would you come right out with it, though? Are you that desperate to survive? Listen, it's because of my younger sister. She's got an incurable disease and we can't afford medicine. So I became a shinobi to earn more money. I trained hard with the Kai of Kasumi Dani. The Kai are from Misere Dani? Right. That's what I said. Anyway, um, like, the village chief? He was like, hey, you can't do that, or whatever. That's when he betrayed me. Look, if you're gonna lie, then keep it short. Right, you got me. Back to your question. Do I really need a reason to want to survive? I don't have any heart-wrenching stories to tell. Sorry, it's such a boring answer. I want to make it out alive because I want to live. It's that simple. I'm so young, it would be a bummer if I died right now. Not good enough? Well, you samurai probably don't understand. Whenever the Shogun tells you to risk your life, you do it without a word. You don't even stop to question why. All right. Just one more question. Mm-hmm. About Motomakia. What did you really do to him? Thing I didn't tell you. Why do you care what happens to the other people here? Stop that. It might kill you. Fine then. I'll fight beside you, as long as it's clear that we're not a team. Yay, that's awesome! You're the best, Gabi! I'm cutting out! I just got a little excited for a second. You don't have to break my arm off! I'm a married man. Then let's go over what we know. Hey now, don't go spilling the beans. We got what we wanted, so why would we give them anything else? Really? It didn't take you long to go back on your word. Come on, I'm just kidding. What's wrong with me? What have I accomplished since we got here? I got overwhelmed and lost my bearings against those monsters. I've mastered the art of swordsmanship. But what was it all for? I'm completely... Adaptiveness is strength. Oh, He's earned his license after just a month, huh? Impressive, Toma. Before we add your name to the list, you must execute a criminal. But which candidate would be suitable? Hmm? Allow me to make a request. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm here to rescue you. Brother. <laughs> Took long enough. I infiltrated the Yamada clan and ranked up within a month. The least you could do is thank me. Yeah, meanwhile, I've been putting up with them torturing me for the last month. Well, it's done wonders for your looks. Uh-huh. So what's the plan? They've got guards all over the place. Don't worry, brother. I've found a way we can be free. <laughs> yeah, great. Adapting means changing yourself to suit any situation. What is that? Making quick assessments and understanding the problem. Are they alive? Some circumstances are hard to judge. 
If they are, I can kill them! He adapts quickly. That's my brother's strength. He always has. Even the day our clan was disbanded, after the lord our father served caused an outrage at Edo Castle, and was executed. Even when mother died and we lived in poverty. All 47 Ronin who sought revenge for their master must be beheaded to atone for this treason! Even when our father joined the revenge scheme and paid with his life. <laughs> Even when bandits attacked us, my brother assessed the situation. And before I knew what was happening, he was in control of it. You're trapped, bandit King Chobe. We advise you to come quietly. Toma. I want you to run. No, I can't. You can just rescue me later. I believe in you. This world isn't so simple as the strong prey on the weak. It's survival of the fittest, but the fittest are those who can adapt. Be careful. Toma! We're gonna have to weave past them. Right! Sometimes. Fleeing is the smartest strategy. He's an expert in changing. But the one thing that hasn't changed is... Brother! The ability to change is strength. Those who can't adapt, they're useless. That's why he's so strong. And so wise. Damn you! You're not taking another step! Ha! <laughs> Looks like the best way to take him down is to hack at him with their own weapons. I was worried. Nice going there, Toma. You bought me just enough time to pick this baby up. <laughs> no! Brother, are you all right? Say something! Murder is an act of evil. Even the smallest insects are living things. Fish are alive. You mustn't harm them. You're kidding me. These things can talk? Murder is a Brother, sin. do you think they're real deities? I don't think this is heaven. It's hell. A place made to punish criminals for their sins. Get crimes and sins. I'm so sick of hearing that crap! You think I'm evil? Who gives a shit? And who are you to decide? You're slaves to your stupid sense of moral. You don't know how to think. You're puppet! I'll never let anybody tell me what to do. I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want. I'm the only lord I need. I'm my own god! FOREVER! Change is his greatest strength. And since the fact that he's always changing is what defines him, he never loses his sense of self. Father... Mother... I want to go back to the mansion. We were the sons of Samurai, and now look at us. We're bandits. I don't know what's right. I'm so confused. Toma, show any weakness and you're dead. If you don't know what's right, then just trust me. I'm your big brother, so it's my job to show you what to do. Because I'm always right. <sighs> if these ugly things are real, then I bet the elixir's real too. All right, here's the plan. We'll slaughter every last monster and criminal on the island. Then, there'll be no one else left to find the elixir. And once we get it, you and I are gonna drink it together. So not even death itself can tell us how to live. Because we make our own rules, right, little brother? <laughs> are you sure it'll be that easy? Huh? This island is dangerous. 
We may be survivors, but everyone we meet will be the same way. The threat here is simply so great that the weak will soon be weak. Why? Why are you looking at me with that face? Father! I see you're awake. That's good. Kenji Dono? Where? What happened to me? We're inside a cavern. I don't sense any monsters or insects here. You were poisoned by the butterfly scales, and it caused you to lose consciousness. You're too weak to be on your feet yet. There's no choice. I can't let him out of my sight. Uh hey, guess you're up. Ah, yes. Are you feeling any better now, Sakari-san? Um, what are you doing? Uh-huh. I'm making dinner. And I'm repairing our torn garments. And I'm supervising. But I thought you were worried about us running out of time. Yeah, well, it's not such a big deal now. Now that we're not facing immediate danger, I believe this would be a good time for us to relay the information we've gathered. We can discuss everything while we're enjoying our dinner. Mmm, count me in. What? Kikatsugan? Really? This is the sorriest excuse for dinner I've ever seen! Kikatsugan? I made them with whatever I could find. I think I did a decent job. And of course, I scouted around the island while I was out getting the ingredients. <gasps> The short version is, I didn't find anything promising in the area. Then again, I didn't scour the entire island, so who can say? Let's say you did find it. The elixir of life, I mean. How would you know? Have you seen it, or what? No. I never heard of the elixir until I took this job. I'm just going by the drawing I got. Huh. While I was scavenging, I learned a bit about the plant life. It's a mixed bag of species, but it's mostly normal things you could find on the mainland. A few of the plants were unfamiliar, though. Maybe they came from Ryukyu. We're not too far from there. Wow. Fascinating stuff. I noticed something. Some of them are the same as the ones growing out of that samurai. Does that mean...? What happened to the people they sent here before? If most of the plants on this island used to be human beings, I think it's obvious. <laughs> you mean you're feeding us people? I didn't use them in the food. Anyway, none of the plants looked like this weird mandarin thingy. Well then, we shouldn't be too fixated on the picture they gave us. They're using the terms paradise and tokijiku no kagunomi, but those concepts are taken from two different cultures. The stone statues on the island resemble either Buddhist or Taoist designs. But worrying about the religious consistency is pointless. What intrigues me most are the statues themselves. Does this place have the technology to make them from clay or stone? If so, then who made them? And do those people reside on the island today? I don't think so. How could someone make a home here? With all these wild creatures, it would be much too dangerous. And we still don't know exactly what they are. When I cut them, I thought I felt flesh and bones. But as for organs and, uh... The genitalia? Yes, that. I didn't see anything. You mean they don't have dicks? Their appearance is strange. They're like parts of assorted animals stacked on top of humanoid forms. I'm not sure how to describe it. Nor do I. I also noticed the monsters wear poorly crafted adornments. They're religious in nature, but the details aren't exactly accurate. Which is why I think... They're like malformed gods. They are, much like the island itself, terrifying, but decidedly absurd. Too removed from reality to be natural, yet too artificial to be true incarnations of the divine. It's as though we've been thrown into some sort of half-formed Mandela. Something so nonsensical that it's beyond our understanding. <laughs> They're creatures that can survive with no organs. That kind of sounds like immortality. And that means the elixir might actually be here somewhere. If it's here, it can be found. 
And if we find it, we can be pardoned. <laughs> or this really is the afterlife and all of us are dead. That kind of defeats the purpose of the elixir, huh? Possible, but I sincerely hope that's not it. Kabumaru-san is correct, though. Our first mission should be to try to understand the monster's ecology. We must determine where and how these creatures live. It'll be a dangerous task, but it's the only lead we've got, so we have to. Sunset. We haven't even been here for a full day. Genji Dono? Listen to me. You need to take a boat back to the mainland. Uh, but why? My assigned criminal is dead, so I will assume your responsibilities here. You're a daughter of the Yamadas first and a samurai second, so it's your duty to marry the next head of the clan. The shogunate will have no objections to me taking over for you. In your current state, you'll die. Go home while you can, Sagiri. I have to complete the job. Warriors don't just run away. Your intentions are noble, but be realistic. Do you have the strength to kill Gabimaru as you are now? And your katana. I assume you picked that up somewhere along the way, yes? A sword is a warrior's heart. Meaning you've already lost the thing that makes you one of the Yamada clan. Then again, I suppose that can happen on the battlefield. A warrior may dispose of his blade and procure a new one on the spot. I don't deny that you're very talented with a sword. But that's as a blade tester and executioner. It's impossible to succeed in this undertaking without exceptional combat ability, which you are lacking. Mastery of the blade and mastery in the art of war simply are not the same. This island demands a strength which you do not possess. Because you are a woman. Are you sure it would be that easy to leave if she chose to? Senta. After all, most of the samurai they dispatched to the island so far haven't returned. Even with a boat. I'm not confident that it could be done. We need to get away from the coast. It's hard to see through this fog. But a true warrior keeps moving forward no matter how bad things get. Why are you samurai always so stupid? What was that? Just watch where the currents go. Because if you rely on brute force, you'll end up exhausting yourself without getting anything done. Samurai are obsessed with stuff that doesn't exist. They don't know how to be smart. The currents, huh? That's so helpful! Is that some kind of secret Sanka tribe wisdom, or what? My grandfather taught me. He always told me about how efficiency was important. But you know, even if we do find a way to get off the island, I'll still end up dead if I don't bring that elixir. Don't worry. I'm gonna go talk to the Shogunate for you. I'm sure they can work something out. <sighs> it's okay, Nudagai-kun. I'll get you back home safe and sound. I promise. Out of all the criminals they sent to this island, you're the one who deserves to live more than anyone. Check it out! How lucky is that? This ship is huge! It must belong to the Shogunate! I think we just found our way home! <sighs> Wait, I think these are all of the ships that tried to leave the island. Seaworthy. Run, Nurunai. If you die, the Sanka bloodline will die with you. I don't believe in things that don't exist. But I can't help but wonder is this divine punishment? Hey, if you guys are lost, I can take you to the foot of the mountain. Are you an Emishi? Then lead me to your village so that I can rest. What does Emishi mean? It's a word for one who doesn't obey. Those who refuse to submit to the Shogunate and live as separate tribes in the mountains. 
Tokugawa-sama considers them to be traitors. Take him away! We'll kill him once he tells us where the other villagers are. We'll purge the Sanka for this region. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Grandpa. It's all because I let the samurai here. I... I'm one of the Asaimon. I'm employed by the government. And I don't understand why an innocent boy should be killed. If there's a chance for you to live, then you should take it. What am I supposed to do now? Should I live and carry on the village's bloodline? Or should I die to pay the price for their deaths? I... It was a... And I couldn't... Everything is... They were... No! Kisho-san! Why?! It's me, Tenza! Please tell me you remember me! Stop! It's too late for him now! We should go! Hey, what's the matter with you, Nudagai Kun? If you're running, go ahead and escape by yourself. Just leave me here, okay? Hold on! Do you seriously want me to get away without you? Even before this, I was already wondering whether I should live or die. But I finally understand now. This is my divine punishment. It's what I deserve for getting Grandfather and the others killed. <laughs> Still doesn't make any sense to me! Why does that mean that you should die? Some and I are stupid, remember? So break it down for me! It's the Sanka's covenant. To live for the sake of the mountain and the villagers. And yet I was the only survivor that day. All of my people were killed because of me. I told you I'm stupid, so don't use fancy words like covenant or I can't follow anything you say! I just mean that! Hey, I told you to forget me! Until you explain your answer to me, and until I can understand it, I'm not leaving you here. I don't have much stamina left in me, though, so you'd better make it quick! Spit it out, kid! I'm not asking about your grandpa or your village! All I'm asking is whether or not you want to die! I want to go home again. So no, I don't want to die. Then there's only one course of action. Do whatever it takes to live! That boat still looks usable! So let's bust through these things and get aboard! Right! Thanks for your help. <laughs> I could say the same. We escaped the monsters for now. Too bad we're right back on the beach. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that all the currents in this area probably flow toward the island. Unless we find one that leads away from it, we won't be able to go back with the elixir. And these monsters, they're different from the ones we saw on the island. It looks like that mountain of abandoned ships goes all the way around. There's too many to just be from the past few years. <sighs> anyway, we can think about it after we wash off all the blood and guts. <sighs> that one samurai who bloomed, he made it back. Which means there has to be some way out of here. Yeah, good point. Hey, wait. Nurugai-kun, don't take this the wrong way, but your figure is kind of, uh, girlish, you might say. Um... Girlish? Huh? I am a girl. <gasps> Really? How? Seriously? Why are you freaking out? Look, if you're a girl, then face the other way! You samurai sure love to focus on dumb stuff that doesn't matter. Believe me, it matters a lot more than you think! Just turn around, all right? You're so chivalrous! I'm in love with you! Once we're back home, we should get married! I'm sorry. I can't do it. This island's overloading my puny brain. I'm stupid, as you know. 
Anyway, let's move on. We need to make a game plan. First things first. We should circle the entire island and try to find a current leading out to the sea. Yeah, we shouldn't do anything till we know how to leave. Besides, we'll be no match for those monsters if it's only the two of us. We'll need some allies for the return trip. You'll sail home at the break of dawn, Sagadi. This expedition is far too dangerous for a mere woman. Honestly, a part of me does agree with Genji-san. His reasoning aside, it would be wise to go home if you have a chance. Then again, the other part of me wants you to be here in case Gabimaru-san gets out of control and needs to be stopped. You do? Really? It's just a hunch, but... Something's different about Gabimaru-san now compared to when I first saw him on the beach. He even went so far as to save your life. Though that could have been because he knows he has to return with his partner alive. Do you have any idea what might have inspired this change in him? Stay back. All told, I must admit that I would feel much better if you stayed here. But it's up to you. I see. Thanks for that. Are you just gonna stay up all night watching me? Because I don't plan on sleeping. I'm taking turns with the other guards. Makes sense. Otherwise, none of you guys would get to sleep. The Shogunate didn't think this through at all, did they? Samurai obey without question. Listen. Look. You first. I was just wondering if you felt better yet. What? What's with the funny look? I mean, I'm surprised. Well, because if I hadn't given you that wound, I don't think the poison would have worked as quickly. So I thought maybe... I am. But I thought you were worried about us running out of time. Yeah, well... It's not such a big deal now. And I owe you a favor. I've been thinking more clearly, now that you're around. I know that rushing in randomly is dangerous, and if the Iwagakure are coming, then I should prepare a counterattack. I've decided to live on with my wife, and we'll survive long after this job is over with. I won't run from the ones who get in my way. I'll face them head on. You're very strong. You're stronger than I am, though. That's for sure. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm never wrong when it comes to this kind of stuff, believe me. I don't know if it's your heart or your technique, or maybe it's just who you are. At the very least, you were really strong back at the prison. And I didn't just think that. It was almost like I felt it somehow. I wonder where that feeling came from. You still look surprised. Well, I am. It was the same back in my village. You'll never know how strong you are until you've had some life experience, right? People never understand themselves nearly as well as they think they do. Not until they're forced to take action. We're all like that. Nothing showed up to attack us for the entire night. I suppose the monsters are only active in the daytime. Now then, Sagadi, if you're prepared to depart, I'll escort you to the ship. I appreciate your consideration, but I won't be leaving the island. If you're worried about punishment, you shouldn't be. No, it's nothing like that. This concerns the way I choose to live. What are you speaking of? Since you're a young woman, you should return home safely and bear children for the Yamada clan. I know. I've heard that my whole life. A woman who wields a sword is met with astonishment and ridicule. You ought to know your place, they'd say. The worst part were the looks of disappointment from my own father. A woman can't take over the Yamada clan. No reason to push yourself, dear. It's better to live a woman's life. If I live as a daughter of Neck Chopper Asa, then outsiders hate me. But if I live as a Yamada clan warrior, my family hates me. So if I leave the island now, it'll follow me forever. I still don't see any problem. It's natural for a woman to fulfill the duty she was made to have. I'm sorry. But I can't stand to be looked at in that way. In what way? 
Not just as a woman. I want to be seen as a samurai. Silence! Please, forgive me for defying my senior, but I need to live the way I see fit. I know I'm weak, and that I'm lacking in experience, but still... I won't run from the ones who get in my way. At least, my choices will be mine, and no one else's. I believe regardless of gender, and regardless of status, that all people have that same desire deep in their hearts. I hope you can understand. Now you're being ridiculous. That isn't the way a samurai lives his life. This island is a battlefield. It's no place for women and children! Oh. What? When did you...? During a battle, one may need to procure a weapon. Oh. You taught me that lesson last night. Woman! A warrior sword is his very soul! How dare you steal it! Uh, Genji Dono... <clears throat> It's great. Grow up big and strong, Roku Rhoda. Aww, he's had a snack and now he wants to play. sure that thing's a human? Because I think it's something else. He's practically unharmed. That's Rokurota. They call him the giant of Bizen. And he was assigned to... Bizen Dono. Those are the eyes of a predator about to strike. It'll be hard for us to escape together. There's no choice. I'll kill him. But how can I? If that kick didn't do anything, that means he's as strong as an Iwagakure. The Light Shinobi rule. Never forget it. Analyze the enemy's abilities with perfect accuracy. I need to see what he can do. Just gonna sit and watch Yuzuriha? Help me. You've got your own ninjutsu, right? So back me up like you said you would. Yeah, I gotcha. Don't worry, I'd never go back on a promise. <laughs> but we both agreed that you're the muscle and I'm in charge of relaying information. It's all you, Gabimaru! Don't die, Gabimaru! Gabimaru, you're our man! If you can't do it, we're screwed! Now get moving! Focus on the destruction he's causing. Maybe I can find an opening. Quick hands, quick reflexes. My instincts tell me. If I try to block those punches, I'll die instantly. Which means... Neem Pump! Stone Storm! Projectiles don't hurt him. 
Ning Po, on Force Blade! But that attack is like striking with steel. What else do I have? Is there a long-range ninjutsu that would work? This is pointless. I'm done. Just go. Leave me. It's fine. You can't give up yet. I'll stop the blood. You'll survive this. You baffled me, Sagiri. <laughs> Moments ago, you were blustering with all the stubbornness of a man. But this is the gentleness of a woman. It has nothing to do with men or women. The point is, I don't want my senior to die. <sighs> so this is the way you've chosen to live. Rather than thinking in opposites, men or women, strength or weakness, you acknowledge both sides as parts of yourself. Your philosophy in life is to embody the middle way. I finally understand. A warrior's sword is his soul, so please accept mine. You and I both know that Rokuroda probably killed Azen Dono. If you choose to be a samurai, I won't tell you to run away anymore. So kill him with this. Yamada Asaiman, Sagiri. Projectiles don't work, but I can't get close. I need to use ascetic blaze. <laughs> if I had some backup, I could find a blind spot. <laughs> Insert your blade at the point where extended muscles, tendons, and bone all converge. And even the strongest of bodies can be cut open. No matter how outlandish the foe, the execution's the same. Understand the body structure, and strike at the gaps. This style is the Yamada Asaimon way. Gabimaru. Perfect timing. I could use a little help. We'll, we'll do, do this, this together. together. Please! I'd like to go and attend to my fellow student's wounds! Why? He's basically dead already. And let's be real. You're not that kind of guy. By the way, we've been making a lot of noise and nothing else has tried to attack us in a while. We should stay up here in case something comes. Let it kill those two first, and then we'll run. He stopped bleeding already. I guess for him, that's not much of an injury. We need a killing blow. Let's aim between the bones and decapitate him. But his neck is too high up. So we bring him down here. Cut his legs so he has to kneel. That's easier said than done. Huh? But you can do it, can't you? Uh. I'll handle his attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. He's condemned to death, and he killed my senior. But if I attack in a blind rage, my technique will suffer. I have to remain calm and put my feelings aside. Watch out! Here he comes! <laughs> I must have strained my leg while I was dodging him. His blows are really hard to avoid. He could kill me with a single open palm strike. I mustn't lose my composure, not even for a second. It's difficult to cut him between the bones when he's thrashing around. His movements don't leave a gap. I can't hit him. Decapitations are done with the target bowing their head. I need him to bow, then I can do it. But if our attacks can't cut through his limbs, and how do we get him to do that? Ask nicely. <sighs> this is too complicated. But... <laughs> is 
his stomach growling? He's so loud. because of his insane strength. But I can withstand this. I know I can handle it. He's bleeding. Damn it. I need to get up. That wasn't a fatal blow. Come on, stand. Death. Above all else, I have to remain calm. Suppress your emotions. Think logically. Breathe. Forget how you feel. And focus your mind. The middle way. That's the philosophy you have in life. Don't split things up. Instead, you should accept each of the opposing concepts for what they are. Emotion and reason. Turn your feelings into strength. Use logic to focus on the goal. Not calmness or passion, but the middle. <laughs> wow. In the Tamashi Iturio, she's all the way down at rank 12. But in the Yamada clan, the rankings aren't based on one's prowess in combat alone. They represent a person's suitability to lead the clan. So as a woman, she loses by default. But if you examine her in terms of pure skill, she's... Sagiri lacks experience as a warrior on the battlefield. But when her responsibility is in line with the feelings in her heart, when she stops hesitating, her ability with a sword is second to none. She may fear the monsters on this island, but as an Asaiman, she's unafraid to face even the worst criminals. <clears throat> she's always been such a stubborn samurai. I was right about her from the beginning. I sensed it when I first met her. She's extremely strong. There. His head's within reach. I guess it's not that simple. There has to be a way we can keep his head low enough to strike him down. I've got an idea. Huh? It's kind of extreme. The Giant of Bison. Close quarters is too risky, but long range doesn't work. The only way is to slice between his bones and decapitate him. And no amount of physical ability is enough. We need the specialized beheading skills of a Yamana Asaiwan. But he's so huge and fast, we can't afford to make any mistakes. So... Crap! We have to get out of here now! Ningpo Stonestorm! A set of blade mode! Ninpo Zephyr Weed! A set of blade mode! Ninpo Grand Crag! A set of blade mode! Ninpo Quilt of Thorns! A set of blade mode! Don't overdo it. I believe. That should be enough. How far away do we need to go? Keep moving, you four-eyed raccoon dog. They're not just trying to kill Roku Rhoda. 
They're setting fire to this whole area. Are you saying? Yeah, exactly. The oils from the raw wood give off smoke. So by setting all the branches and leaves on fire, they're causing the sky above them to get super smoky. Since he's throwing a fit, it won't take him long to inhale a ton of it and start choking. Little known fact. When you're executed by fire, the flames aren't nearly as deadly as the poison from the smoke. Poison? Smoke contains carbon monoxide. It binds to the hemoglobin in the blood, which causes the entire body to rapidly become oxygen deficient. This is known as carbon monoxide poisoning. Trust me, it's not fun. But as long as you stay crouched, you won't inhale any smoke. Well, we could still burn to death. Now, which is going to happen first? Will he suffocate, or will his head come down? <laughs> Why won't anyone play with me? We let your rampage spin out of control. You must have been scared. I'm sorry. It's because I lack experience. But now everything's alright. You won't have to suffer any more hatred. Anyone who hated you is dead. And like them, I hope you rest in peace. The flames are only getting bigger now. We should get out of here before any monsters show up. <sighs> Genji Dono. Hey! Hurry up or we'll burn! There's no time to mourn, not even my fellow students. So while I'm here, I must be strong. Strong. Rather than thinking in opposites, men or women strengthen the weakness. You choose to embody the middle way. the monsters. Most animals would try to avoid a fire. But for some reason, these creatures appear to be heading directly toward the flames. Yet another thing that makes them unnatural. <sighs> There's no choice. We'll have to go in the direction they're all coming from. That's reckless. Oh yeah, it's a stupid move, but we gotta do it. Because wherever they live is probably where the elixir of life is. Uh, I still haven't recovered from earlier, though. This whole thing sucks. I need a break. Do you want to give up, then? No way. Whenever we find a new lead, I'll follow it until I reach the end. Then I'll get the elixir and go back home, so I can see my wife again. How about you? Aren't you worried about losing more samurai buddies? <laughs> no. They took this job knowing that they were likely to be killed. Worrying would be disrespectful. If I care about them, I should find the elixir as soon as I can, so we can all be free from this danger. Glad we're on the same page. Remember, I'm still your monitor. <laughs> now that 
That's odd. So the vixen and the raccoon dog ran all the way here, huh? Hey! I thought we made a promise to help each other. <laughs> Down there. Is that a village? I'm not sure what else it could be. How strange. If we're meant to believe that this island is Shinsenkyo, then according to legend, there should be hermits here. you up either brother are you sure that's safe to eat I'm not eating I'm drinking it because that's what you do for water when you're killing animals in the mountains <sighs> so I've been meaning to ask you what are those hermits that you were talking about earlier well I guess you'd call them imaginary Shensian philosophy describes them as immortal superhuman beings who cast mysterious spells most of them take the forms of old men. They may exist on this island. The thing is, it's supposed to be hermits who reside in Shinsenkyo, and not monsters. Sounds stupid. We should just kill the old geezers and call it a day. I gotta rustle up something to eat, don't I? <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> Brother? Something's out there. This better be something I can eat. Stop! Uh huh? Who's that? A kid? Is she a human from the mainland? Or... What happened? Who is she? Better question. Why did a bonsai just pick a fight with you? I guess it's another type of monster. <sighs> Gabimaru! That girl might know something about the island. And this is the only lead that we've got. We need her! Wait! Hold on! What about this thing? Huh? You guys can handle it! You're kidding me! Sagari-san! I can't let Gabimaru out of my sight! Good luck, Sentadono! Uh, oh. uh, uh, excuse me, but I need those! That's too bad. I can't let you see all of my tricks. This guy is on the weak side. It's a chance to test my skills. I gotta see if my new jutsu works on monsters after all. <laughs> Seems like you're familiar with the forest. Talk with me for a sec, okay? Gabimaru! Uh, how'd she do that? There's no way a kid's arm could be that strong. Don't run away! I promise you we don't intend to hurt you! We just want to ask you some questions! Good. I thought you might not understand. This isn't just brute physical strength. It's something different. This place is full of stuff we can't comprehend. This girl, the village, the monsters and statues. I thought it would be a simple job. Find the elixir. Receive a pardon and go home to my wife. Not sure if you are or not. But you look like a human child. I'd like to go easy on you. Problem is, I'm desperate. Which means I might forget to do that. Stop it! Listen. I'm sick of this mess. 
I just want to get my hands on the elixir of life. So don't force me to do anything else. Uh, she's scared. Well, what do you expect? What should we do? Let her down, for one thing. Well, we've got her. That's good. Now that I get a better look at her... She's just a normal child. Hey! What's the big holdup? You guys just shooting the breeze? Cause I worked my butt off back there, you know. Did you learn anything? What's next? Can you tell us where the elixir is now? She can't until she stops crying. Well, I doubt any of us are good with kids. Oh. Please. Did that thing... Yeah, I guess it can talk. Please, the girl, give her back to me. Then I'll take you to the village and tell you about the elixir of life. Yeah, I'll pass. It's awesome that you can talk and all, but that doesn't mean we should blindly trust you. It's safer to just ask the little girl. She's not wrong. I have some food I can share with you. We're all stocked up on food, thanks. A bath as well. Bath time, bath time, bath time, bath time! I know nothing about this thing. I'm not sure that it's wise to trust him. Look, if it can tell us something about the elixir, I say it makes no difference who it is. Besides, if it tries anything, we can just kill it. We've arrived. It's like a ghost town here. The mist is so thick. I don't see anyone around. It's only been this way for a thousand years. A thousand? I'll show you my home. Look at all these decorations. Everything looks so old. You don't really live here, do you? I never tell lies. And I have a few questions. Right now? We can chit-chat later. You promised me a bath, so show me- We don't me. have time for pampering. Man, I missed bathing. Oh, yeah. oh. Would you do something about her? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. Why is everyone around here so meek? Oh, Gobby. It's important to take breaks whenever you get time. Don't you want to come in here and... No. Hmm. Boo, you're no fun. Even Soggy's taking a dip. Who? I'm just acting as your monitor. Sentadona wouldn't be comfortable. So he and I have switched places for now. I won't shirk my responsibility. <sighs> Litties. Right. It's no use. I'm so exhausted, there's no way I could resist. But we shouldn't make ourselves at home after the way we barged in. You brought some washcloths. Um, thank you. That was thoughtful. She sure seems to like you. Maybe she can't speak. They have pottery in an actual well? Don't drink that. Not until we know what this thing's intentions are. Right. Of course. We have food as well. <gasps> All right, then I suggest we find out everything. We need to know as soon as possible, so that way we are... Take the risk if you want to. It's your funeral. I assure you, they are not poisoned. She eats the same ones. So, what's your relationship with that girl? That's one thing I will not share. That's fine. I care about the elixir. So nothing else is relevant. Got any insight on that? Like where it's hidden? Anything at all about this place? Sweet! They've got food here! Could you start without me? Sorry, I couldn't wait. Let me get in on this. I'm so hungry. Mm. <laughs> well, this sucks. Seems we got distracted. You aren't eating. I didn't come here to have lunch, okay? I'm not sure what humans generally call this place. We refer to it as Kotaku. 
or Shinsenkyo, home of the gods. It's entirely different from the gods and Shinsenkyo I've heard stories about. I always believed that gods were like spirits. I've never left this island, so I wouldn't know anything about that. Get to the point. The elixir of life is real, right? Of course it is. The story goes back to ancient times. <laughs> In legends, we called it Tan, the precious source of eternal life. That's what you seek. What? Tan? It's not a mandarin? And where is it? The island is divided into three regions. The shore and the forest are Eishu. This village is located in the middle region called Hojo. At the center, shrouded in mist, is Horai, where Tan can be found. All this is both useful and fascinating! So looking for it in the woods was pointless? And the picture was totally wrong? There is an elixir. I can see my wife again. Have you seen the elixir with your own eyes? No. Better yet, do you have any proof that you're not making all this stuff up? You'll eventually encounter the Tensen. And after you have, there'll be no doubt I speak the truth. There'll be all the proof you require. <sighs> Undying, ageless. The Tensen are eternally beautiful, perfect beings. I assume you've already battled some of the Soshin on your way here, but the Tensen are far more terrible. Nothing stands a chance against them. I know you found it strange when I so meekly invited you into my home, offered you food, and freely shared this information. I believe it was the least I could do. After all, it could very well be your final request. All humans who arrive on the island are slain. The Ten Sen never allow anyone to leave. What do you mean all humans are slain? Yeah, you're leading us into some kind of trap, aren't you? I feel neither affection nor contempt toward you. I simply told you the truth. The Tensen kill every human who dares to trespass here. Then tell me who these Tensen people really are. They are the most important inhabitants of Shinsenkyo. They command the Soshin and administer punishment to the guilty. Namely, any human being who does not belong here. But take comfort in this. The recipients of this punishment do not simply die. They are reborn as magnificent flowers, released from their sin and worldliness, to achieve eternal bliss. <laughs> the lives that have been transformed into flowers then become the source of Tan. That's just how the legend goes, right? There's no way we're supposed to take it literally. The elixir of life is most certainly real. As you see, I received one of its blessings. The hand grew back. You told us before that you've lived for a thousand years. Does she have the same gift as you? <laughs> Stop! Don't point that at her! Huh? Wow, nice. You suck. Oh, uh... Sorry. Whether you believe it or not, this island truly is Shinsenkyo. The gods decide the fate of any human who comes here. Escaping from it will be no easy task. You're following me to the bath? Sentadona wasn't willing to trade this time. It's fine, I'm just going to rinse off my wounds anyway. Besides, we can't have you getting too relaxed, huh? I'm not relaxed. Well, you were earlier. After the bath, you almost fell asleep. I did not. Did too. So stubborn. The island has three areas. The elixir is in Horai. The center. But the Tensen are there watching over it. We got a lot of useful info. 
but it's still confusing. Do you think it's alright for us to trust those two? I go by the name Hoko, and the girl is May. We were both born here many centuries ago. We call this island our home. All we want is to continue living quietly, so please let us be. I don't think they were lying, but I can't accept everything they told us. At least... Not the whole Tencent thing, right? It's a familiar term, based on mainland Shenzian belief. Tencent are a group of highly revered hermits. Soshin and Horai. I believe those names come from foreign Taoist philosophy. We can figure out the history stuff later. What matters is whether those Tencent things are gonna get in our way. Honestly, I would prefer... <laughs> ...that we try not to waste more time. I didn't expect that. Uh, hold on. Why are you taking your clothes off? I told you. I want to clean my wounds real quick. But there's a young lady in here, too. It's not like it matters. Back in the village I come from, everybody shared the same bath. Well, except the chief had his own. This is no time to worry about etiquette. Her hair and skin are in terrible shape. She has supplies for bathing, but they haven't been used. Perhaps she doesn't have someone like a parent to teach her the right way. I'll create an Edo-style bathhouse experience using what you have. Focus on relaxing and getting clean. And I'll do everything I can to facilitate. What's the point of all this? I need to repay her kindness. Thanks to her, we were given shelter and a meal. <sighs> You're also stretching yourself too thin. You should relax while you can. Use that to scrub your body. Hmm. My parents made me help other people with their baths, so I'm good at it. This is ash and a camellia oil cake. It's not much, but I brought it from the mainland. It's for your hair. Look at that. You're all clean now. I can't do anything that'll make your scars go away. But it is refreshing, isn't it? Why is a bath such a big deal? Come on. We've got so many more important things to think about. And we don't even know her. I think you've been stretching yourself too thin. You should always get plenty of rest, but especially when times are stressful. Oh yeah? Is that right? It certainly is. By the way, since you and I are married, there's no reason for you to be so embarrassed about me washing your back like this. Oh yeah? Is that right? It certainly is. I'm not embarrassed. I just hate... baths. They wash away the tension I need for fighting. <laughs> Are you saying I'm robbing you of your strength? What? No, that's not what I meant. I told you, you're stretched too thin. If you don't take opportunities to rest, then you'll collapse before you can win the real battle. Did you say a real battle? There's something coming up? What's the job? Not that. I'm talking about your life, of course. <clears throat> Live with peace and honor. Do your best to adhere to your convictions. Sometimes you'll need to conceal them or bend them. But no matter what, never let go. Even the Battle of Kawanakajima cannot compare to the long, long battle of life. You and I are fighting together. You're the general, I'm the strategist. My advice is to rest. Well, all right. Now then. Let's get you into the water. Not happening! <laughs> I hate the water, okay? I'm clean enough already, aren't I? He's like a cat. Tomorrow we'll be living together. Which means we won't be able to use my father's bath. So? As the general, can I give some strategic orders too? Of course. Go right ahead. Don't hide your scar behind your hair. 
I'm sure you must have your reasons, but it doesn't bother me in the slightest. You really don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, this is just the way I prefer to style my hair. It is? Really? But if this is what my general wishes, I'll change it. I'm so grateful. <laughs> hey, kid. Those scars across your back, you shouldn't be ashamed of them. Sometimes a woman doesn't have that option. Well, I disagree. Because I know of a woman who has a terrible scar. But there's no one more beautiful than her. Huh? Appearances don't matter at all. Uh... What's with that look on your face? I'm shocked. It's not like you to say such respectable things. <laughs> he isn't the horrible person I thought he was. Part of me wants to believe that. Maybe this means that he's beginning to change, little by little. Once I took a break, I started to feel the way I did when this whole thing began. I know what's important, and I don't have time to sit around and chat. We'll never find an outgoing current if we just keep wandering aimlessly around the beach. And eventually we'll get heat exhaustion and pass out. Ah, quit being right already! This is the best an idiot like me can come up with! I mean, the forest is infested with bugs and monsters! We can beat them if we work together. I just want to be extra careful, because you're a girl and all. <sighs> now I really do want to marry you. It's way too early for that. Plus, even if we did, we'd have to get off the island first. Let's play it safe and try to avoid any fights, even if it takes a little bit longer. This is exactly why you'd be a good husband. Huh? Oh. Hey, who's that? She just fell from the sky. The woods were very noisy. I found it unusual. And there were so many Soshin corpses there. Also quite unusual. Could you two be responsible? It turned into a man. It's a monster! We should run! Why do you flee from me? <gasps> it won't help you. <gasps> Not that it matters, but do you find it troubling when things aren't as expected? I don't care for it myself. Ah, you move swiftly for a human. Who 
is he? That's my master, Xion. He's an Asaimon too. Wait a second, he's blind. But he's running really quickly. Yeah, he sees by sound and smell. I think that's far enough. Nurugai could, uh, San. Don't worry, we'll be okay now that this guy's here. I owe my life to Shion San. He taught me how to use a sword. He's a really incredible guy. Uh! You were too sloppy. And you relied far too heavily on your speed alone. With him, you should have gone for the head or the feet. I could hear all those weak lunges, too. Ow! You're supposed to move gracefully. Ow! Yes, sir. I guess even on the island, you're still in teacher mode. It's kind of comforting to tell you the truth. Your final attack was messy as well. I'm appalled. But I'm glad you're safe. I thought you'd be dead after we landed. Uh, thanks for that, I guess? <laughs> Wait, what have you been doing? Why are you alone? I'd completed my task, so I was about to leave. I kept searching for any currents leading away, but I never found <sighs> one. Yeah, neither did we. I noticed one area that seemed to be promising, but... suddenly... I heard a noise and felt a strange presence. I realized that there are limits to what a blind man can manage on his own. So I looked for others who were planning to depart. Oh, then show us where that current is! I'm sure we can back each other up! That may be so. Uh -huh. But first things first. <laughs> Master, I'm confused. What's wrong? I have questions of my own. Why are you protecting your criminal? Our orders were to kill our charges if they broke the rules, or if something unexpected occurred. The same as I had to. The courtesan attempted to seduce me. So I killed her. As painlessly as possible. However, you appear to be looking after your criminal. Now explain that to me. And I'll decide whether or not I should execute. Listen to me. This is just an innocent child. I've memorized almost everything that was on the roster for this assignment. So I know each criminal's situation. And you should know, the times we live in determine what a crime is. The Yamada Asaimon are the blade this arrow wields. And it isn't possible for a blade to choose whether or not to cut its target. What's more, your disobedience might be seen as treason on behalf of our entire clan. So the actions of one man could threaten us all. But you're the one who taught me everything I know about swordsmanship, Master. I was just some street urchin. Even though no one was forcing you to help me, you still took me in. I could tell that you were resourceful, and I sensed your potential. Yeah, and this is the same thing! I can see the potential for a world where this kid can live and be free! So you've begun to speak to me as a man. That's all because of you! And besides, I know you pretty well. You've always been a good person. If I speak from the heart, you'll listen to me. What's the point of helping other people? <laughs> well, then I suppose it's settled. Woo! Yeah! You see? I told you my master was a nice guy! Uh, yeah. That said, I could still change my mind. If your decision proves to be too dangerous for you, or for the clan, I won't hesitate to kill her. <gasps> Remember... Hmm? What's wrong? You know she's a girl? She's so manly, I couldn't tell. Naturally. I have quite a sharp eye. You sure love making jokes like that. Mm. Thanks, Master. You are nice. <laughs> it's all right, Nurukai. You have no obligation to call me your master. After all, I haven't taught you anything, have I? Hmm. Now that we're all on the same page, we should hurry up and find that current you saw! Keep your voice down. We need to proceed with caution. Our greatest threat at the moment is that monster. It clearly isn't human. So how should we respond if we encounter it again? Running seemed to work for us earlier, so I'm thinking we keep on doing that. You underestimate me. <laughs> 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 
Thanks. You saved us just in time. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Master! Oh my. I thought I had decapitated him. Very impressive. <laughs> I've gotten used to that. You have to be alive to become tall. But then, you're annoying, so I'll kill you. The smart thing would be to run. But... No, I have to kill it now. Tamashi Itoryu Ultimate! Dance out, wait! I said it's no good. Hey, Master. What did you scoop up a loser like me for? Ask me properly. Why did you choose to take me in, sir? Our work primarily involves ending lives. So I prefer to spend the rest of my time helping others. I understand that you're a bit rough around the edges. <laughs> but I get the feeling that you have some potential. Wow, whoop de doo And what's the point of helping other people? That's because you're too sloppy, controlled by your feelings. You're driven by your rage and doubt. It's not like I care about becoming a samurai anyway. So what's the point? I don't expect you to master samurai code from day one. It's just, if you find something you want to protect someday, the swordsmanship techniques that you've developed here will be invaluable to you. Something I want to protect? Look, do you see that tree? It's thin, and the flowers are merely buds now. But each one of them contains all manner of potential. They're the same as you. The day will come when your buds of potential will finally blossom. Worthless guy. Street urchin. <laughs> all right, try again. Potential? I don't have that. Not me! I've got no class and no money! Ever since the day I was born, I was destined to be nothing! I'm quitting. You what? I said I'm done! I've had enough of your stupid rules and training! I'll go live my own life! And you're certain that's what you want? Yeah! Very well. Let's make a deal. A deal, huh? One strike. It doesn't matter when or where, but you have to hit me at least one time. If you succeed, then I will allow you to quit. I'm not wasting my time on this. Where are you going? The dojo's the other way. Shion told me all about your bargain. So, did you already land an attack? Look, you can't trap me here. Do as you like. Huh? But, first, I want you to take a walk with me. I'm up too early. Need something to do. See that grave? That's where Shion's former protege was laid to rest. His name was Teshin. His protege? Much like you did, he started off as a degenerate. He was full of talent, but lacking in motivation. Let me guess, Master put that guy through just as much as me. Man, what a hard ass. Shion didn't have nearly as much passion for teaching back then as he does now. He mostly focused on improving his own skills. In the end, Teshin left the dojo, saying he'd rather live as he pleased. For a while, everything continued on as normal. And then one day, Shion went out to test his sword by decapitating a criminal. Just as he always did. He raised his weapon to make the kill, but he suddenly stopped short of lowering it. Wait, you mean... 
Yes. He could sense it. That criminal was his student, Teshin. After he had abandoned the dojo, Teshin struggled to make ends meet. So he turned to crime. Did Master let him go, or...? As an Asaimon, Shion did what he had to do. But as the blade went down, he clearly heard Teshin's last words. This was all he said. Master, I'm sorry. Ever since then, Shion's been dedicated to teaching his students and improving the lives of others in any way he can. If you leave this place now, you might face the same fate as Teshin. I'm sure he feels like it would be a waste to let such a thing happen again. They're the same as you. The day will come when your buds of potential will finally blossom. Well? Are you going to run away without ever landing that one blow? Tenza. Please, Master. I want you to spar with me. Ah, you're different from before. Up till now, I never seriously applied myself to anything, but... You're leaving your flanks open. One more try! Again! Again! Just one more! I have to succeed at this. He's the first person to believe that I have any potential at all. Master, is there a way that I can see my potential too? And like you said, someday... Will I find someone I want to protect? Tips are getting cold, but from the chest up, it almost feels like I'm on fire. Right. This must mean I'm dying. And at this rate, that monster's gonna kill all three of us. takes and buy them time so they can get away don't stay for me run get out of here to speak. Run! That's all I need to say! Just one word! Please. Tough. 
can't see through it. We got to the village by heading south. If what Hoko says is the truth, I should go south to reach Horai, the center of the island. That kinda sounds like... singing. No, wait. They're trees like Hoko, but they don't acknowledge me. Can they move? They seem to be praying to something. It's not safe to act until we understand things to some degree. Maybe that's how us I won't think, but we're different. It's not like we turn back if it's too dangerous. It's all or nothing for us. No matter how bad this place is, I won't be pardoned without that elixir. So all I can do is move forward, even if I'm alone. It is said that Honai is still as beautiful as it ever was. Unlike both Hojo and Eishu, which have succumbed to decay, Honai is the true Shinsenkyo. Home of the gods and hermits? This gate is clearly man-made, though. must be inside. <sighs> Who is this? It looks human, but it's something else. What are you? Oh, I hate this. As soon as it's my turn to fight, that's when they all show up. Listen, can you just leave? I battled a few of you already. Whenever we find a human, we're supposed to capture you. <laughs> and today, I... Why capture us? To make the elixir? Hmm. <sighs> what did you do? Generate, and it's stronger and faster than it looks. Is it one of them? Uh. You broke my neck again. Ningbo, ascetic blaze. I killed another one. He'd have made good elixir if I'd kept him alive. <sighs> Stupid question. But are you one of the Tensin? Well, that all depends. Are you human? Hmm. That 
Sar. You're much stronger than most. I encountered a fairly powerful human before, but I haven't seen anyone like you in several centuries. <laughs> Where's the elixir? I assume it won't do any good to slash it or bludgeon it. It's ridiculously tough. This is a matter of endurance now. I need to think of a strategy. It's immortal, and ascetic blaze didn't have any effect on it. What have I not tried? Come on, think. Wait, what's this feeling? That was weird. It responded differently this time. Why? Did something work? It's a woman again. All of that physical strength. You might not realize it, but perhaps you're... Ah, oh, well. It doesn't matter. You're annoying me. Die! What's happening to me? One pressure? No, the blast is reverberating through my entire body! It's a power I don't recognize, and blocking it is pointless! I have to dodge! Way to win this. Forget making a plan. No matter what, I refuse to stop moving. I need to get back to my wife. I swear, I'll return to her alive. Even if it costs me my eyes and nose. Even if it kills me. Just have to destroy it faster than it can hear! Impossible! It's human! I know you're not dead. Now tell me, where is that elixir? <laughs> what should I do now? I'm going to get in trouble with them again, for sure. <laughs> It's not like it's my first time fighting a monster. I'll do what I always do. Analyze and counter. That should work.
You're awake. Oh, you were groaning in your sleep. It looked like you were having some terrible dream. Yeah. Huh. Guess it was... a dream. That's good. Well, whatever happened, it must have been awful. You've been so busy lately. Perhaps you should try to rest a little today. Chrysanthemum tea. Go on, have some. It prevents bad dreams. Do you not care for chrysanthemum? It's fine. It's just that I'm really happy. Even if this is a dream. I'm glad I got to talk to you again. Uh, I'm afraid I don't follow. I'm sorry. But I might not make it back after all. Shinobi rule number 20. When facing certain death, you are to draw upon whatever life you have left and deal as much damage as possible to your opponent as your final breath is drawn. You won't need to memorize that one, however, as I've already trained you to do it instinctively. On the brink of death, you'll attempt to take your foe down with you, regardless of your own will. There's no way to change what happened. I really can't apologize enough! I went searching as soon as I noticed he was gone. But the mist kept getting thicker the farther I got out. I barely found my way back. It would be impossible for an ordinary human like yourself to navigate that mist. If Gabimaru's headed towards Horai, we need to catch up to him quickly. Yeah, no thanks. Come on, we don't have a lot of time here, you know? He was the one who left to go off and do his own thing. Sure, it was handy to have him in combat, but we don't need the guy. And besides, it's not like the Asaimon care about keeping the criminals safe, is it? What? No skin off your nose, right? Well... If you're going to Horai, I'll join you. I haven't seen Mei, and I'm worried. She probably went after Gabimaru. I need to go look for her. I'd like your help. Are you saying you can find the way to Horai through that fog? I believe so. Wow, I guess I am worried about Gabimaru. So we should head out and track him down. Are you with me, soggy old pal? Sure. Let me guess. Even if we do get to Horai, we're probably gonna have to deal with those Tenson people, huh? Indeed. Okay, so what's the deal with them anyway? Can you give us a little more info? Yusuriya, son. We need to focus or we might get lost. Nah, we've got this. You're wondering too, right? About the Tenson. Oh, the Tenson. Yes, I am. Hoko told us that they reside within Horai, which means that we're bound to run into them eventually. There are seven of them. They're powerful hermits. I prefer being male. The male form has more utility, so I'd say it's more beautiful. I definitely like being female. 
Just seeing a woman's body makes you want to touch it. Silence. Both of them are beautiful in their own way. Are we just talking about looks here? I like the male body. The way that it moves is more suited to me. <clears throat> then how come we did it as two women the other day? I was just curious, nothing more. I don't know. You sure seem to be enjoying <laughs> yourself. I'm surprised you're willing to endure that kind of fussiness in a partner. That's my favorite part. It's good to be energetic, right? Oh, shut up. Enough idle chatter. It's time to exchange our reports. Several days ago, a mysterious group of humans arrived. They seem different from the previous ones. Their numbers are small, but they're quite fierce. Many Soshin have been killed. Well, Zhu Jin was supposed to be keeping watch. <laughs> you found those humans on the beach, and then you let them get away. And last night, you were defeated by another one at the gates. They're so weak, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Judging by how you look, you've been using up too much towel. Aw, you look awful. <laughs> you reap what you sow, after all. So a human forced you to use your Kishikai transformation? Enough, Chufa. We are all a family. Which means that we stick together. And as my family, you are to obey me. Only I can do harm to Zhujin, do you understand? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Now, what did you do with the humans you found in the forest? You disposed of them, I presume. I threw them in the pit to die. They should be flowers by now. Don't be so certain. A Monshin corpse was found as well. If they can kill those, that means they're no ordinary beings. Between them and the one Zhujin rat, we're clearly dealing with something completely new. Injured beasts are deadly things. So I hope they don't get out of that pit. If the rest of this group is just as powerful as they are, this is going to be extremely difficult. The human who forced you to transform, I assume you killed them, correct? Uh, right. No matter who attacks us, there's only one thing we desire. To eternity and our master. You said there are seven, and they're all immortal? Legend has it, they started as only one. Huh? What's that mean? Shangdi Samantapadra, Dadi Aksho, Shujun Amogaraja, Dajang Radna, Yuanjun Talhata, Gongong Manjusri, Dijun Kundi. One hermit mastered the art of all these entities and split into seven parts. They all look and sound roughly the same, but their personalities and roles are different. They rule over this island together. But just to be clear, that's only a legend I heard as a child. I'm trying to picture you as a kid. Were you just a tiny leaf, or...? No. In fact, long ago, I looked like the rest of you. <sighs> Everyone who lives on the island looked human in the past. They were longer lived and more devout than your kind. And the villages were prosperous then. But... Uh, what is this place? The villages fell to ruin a thousand years ago. And though our lives are long, we all transform before we die. Transform? Our bodies gradually turn into trees. Eventually, we take root in the land, praying while sitting cross-legged. The transformation progresses regardless of our age, and our awareness fades away as well. Just before it's gone, we gather here. It is said that by doing so, we ensure that our souls are invited into Horai. My awareness is currently fading. I had a family, but they transformed. This was once my daughter. Unfortunately, she was the first one in our family to change. I see now. It's no wonder your village fell apart, even after a thousand good years. Horai is the final resting place for the deceased here, and the Ten Sen are gods who decide which souls will enter it. They must never be defied. He chose to leave on his own. His safety isn't part of my mission. But... I hope he's alright. Hang on.
Where am I? Did this little girl save my life back there? Those things aren't hermits or gods. They're monsters, plain and simple. And if I want that elixir, I'll have to destroy them first. Good. If they're not gods, they're mortal. Which means there's a way to kill them. But I can't be reckless. I need to come up with a plan. It's too much for one person. If there were two or three of us, or even more, then... <laughs> I thought I'd stumbled upon a pile of trash. But you're that shinobi, aren't you? You're not looking so good. You ready to die? I thought I'd stumbled upon a pile of trash. But you're that shinobi, aren't you? You're not looking so good. You ready to die? Damn! Didn't think you'd be able to fight with the shape you're in. There's something special about you, ain't there? And this'll put me in even worse shape. Seems you're more exhausted than you realize, little guy. You're moving kinda slow. It looks like you're guarding your left side. But your balance is a little off. You're not used to it? <laughs> something happened to your left arm recently, didn't it? That's quite enough. No time for pointless displays of force. It's not pointless. Every fight should start with sizing up your opponent. I disagree. It's not only unscientific, it's stupid. Now stop. <laughs> we need to gather information. Find out what he knows. For example, what do you suppose happened to his Asaimon? Moreover, who was that girl on the ground over there? If you kill each other, we'll never hear the answer. Which is why... We'll find out without killing. Leave everything to me. I know how to extract all the information I need from him. Oh, you're going to fight us both? I'm not sure that's the best idea. Should I attack? Or not? I'll definitely have my work cut out for me. I'd better change my tactics. Because I'm not Gabimaru the Hollow anymore. What are you bowing for? You guys are obviously strong, so... I suggest that we all work together. That didn't even make you flinch. Looks like you mean what you say. But I'm disappointed. I want to work with real warriors. Not a guy who just bows his head to his enemies like that. Your perspective is far too simple. What I would like to know is why you're doing this. Gah! So now you're saying we gotta deal with these Tencent things too? But I haven't run into anything that powerful yet! Why not? It's me. They can regenerate themselves? If they don't die from being burned or breaking their necks, then I wonder what their organs are like. No clue. I don't know details. I just want to earn that pardon so I can see somebody. And I will do anything to get it. So will you help me or not? I don't know. Can you show us any evidence that what you're telling us is the truth? Great! Count me in! Uh, Getting to Hodai and these Tencent would be two birds, one stone. And besides, we were pretty lost anyway. I won't argue with that. But this man's our competition. That's all right. I wasn't terribly interested in the pardon to begin with. Huh? But I thought you wanted a chance to improve your sword technique. That's just my method. More than that, I'm looking to make myself immortal. Uh, are you saying you intend to consume the elixir of life yourself? <laughs> of course not. That would be ridiculous. Literal immortality would be boring after a while, don't you think? What I'm talking about is becoming a legend. I'll do something so remarkable people will talk about me for generations. The name Tamiya Katetsusai will never die or be forgotten. Ages from now, my face and the profound words that I say will be remembered forever. They will regard me with reverence and fear. That's what it means to become truly immortal. 
That sounds amazing. Amazingly moronic. Say what you want, I'm still doing it. So tell me, yada yada Asaiman, what's your call? You know what I pick. You mean Yamada. I couldn't care less about your bombastic intentions. But I am incredibly fascinated by these immortal beings. <laughs> Don't worry, I can wipe out those ten sin things for us. And after you do that, I can dissect them. It sounds like we have a deal. Is there any other information you can share with us? Well, about the girl over there. Why are you so taken aback? It's just... She was a little kid before, but she grew somehow. Look, I'm not an expert or anything, but I believe that's what they call puberty. No, that's not what I mean. Wait a minute, you can finally talk now? Tell me who you are! No, better yet, tell me what you know about the elixir! I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me back there. So, can you explain something? That thing you did... Do you have something to do with the Tenson? It's bizarre, no matter how you look at it. Um, what do you mean? Earlier, you said the Tensen are the beings who determine which souls are worthy to enter Horai, is that correct? Yes, they are. I had a suspicion previously, but now I'm sure. There's no possible way that this island could be the actual Shinsenkyo. What we're dealing with is a man-made religious system. Yeah, I'm lost. The terms Horai and Eishu, as well as the various names for the Tensen, are borrowed from different religions, and they're so mismatched it doesn't align with any sect. So? This place is nuts. Who cares if the names don't match? That's the problem, though. Individually, each of the scrambled elements can be traced back to some manner of established religious code. Oh, which means he's really in the zone. Time, human religion was present here. However, the combinations are crude. Certain eras and cultures have been meshed together in a way that seems superficial. The way it's been done, I'd know it anywhere! Uh, what do you mean? Moro Machia. The founder of a new religion, plotting to overthrow the Shogunate. The feel was similar to this place. An unmistakable patchwork of various other fates. That's why I previously thought the island was defective somehow. Not just the religion, but its configuration and the monsters that populate it. I believe this island has a creator. I'm just theorizing, but there's more to the fact that no one's ever come back alive. From the beginning, there was an intent that only the humans who turned into flowers would return. But despite, or rather because of that, if someone's intention is to blame for it, then it may be a clue to understanding the island. Meaning we should be able to locate the elixir of life and escape for good! Oh, oh, pardon me, I've begun to ramble. Nah, it was funny to watch. Thanks for your insight. You're quite wise. You seem to enjoy such things. Well, I think enjoy is a bit of a strong word. You're very dependable, when you're not on watch. <laughs> if you're right about all that stuff, then we have a problem. If someone's been pulling the strings here for a thousand years, something tells me it's gonna be downright impossible to take them out. I hate to be the one to say it, but Gabi Maru and that girl might be dead. <sighs> He's not. I guarantee it. And he hasn't given up, either. He's somewhere on this island, making a plan and acting on it. So he can see the one he loves. Because... that's the kind of man he is. If you know the Tencent secrets... ...anything that can help us win this... ...I need you to tell me, please. Come on. If there's some special technique that can kill Tencent... ...I'd really like to know. <laughs> It's Tao. Oh, yeah? What they use, you call it Tao, huh? Mm. Tao is power, weakness. The soul, the body, power and weakness. Tendon. Turn around. Strong, weak. Strong and weak? Hmm? Tao. Strong. That makes weak. no sense. In martial arts, I believe Tandon is what they call the navel. Actually, it's located just below the navel. 
And in Chinese medicine, it's what's referred to as the meridian. So, what does she mean by Tao, then? Who knows? Tao is the energy that flows throughout all things. So it's just everything. Thanks a lot. And the Tensin are the beings who control it? Correct. Everything in this world is created by the flow of Tao. In fact, to touch Tao is to touch the very origin of the universe. That's way over my head. Well, it's rooted in an unfamiliar belief system. It seems to be the sort of concept that's difficult to explain in a way that we can understand. Aw, oh, man. I'm not retaining any of this stuff. Honestly, where's a hot teacher when you need one? Do that all you like, but I won't train you to use a sword. I'm begging you, Master! I'm willing to work as hard as I have to! What about the promise you made me before? We were supposed to avenge Tenza's death! Forget it. I can't bear the thought of another young life ending because of me. The only one who should fight is me. I'll avenge him alone. There's no time for me to train you. You have to let me fight by your side, Master! As I said before, do not call me your Master. I haven't taught you anything. Well, I'm still going to. You're not just an ordinary man. You sensed me attacking from behind. That had to be more than instinct. So please, teach me how to use a sword. I don't want any more people I love to die because of me. I couldn't bear that! Please... Please be my master. This sense I have... It's not something that I can teach you overnight. It's too difficult. All things in life produce a specific wave. Huh? A wave? Yes. Those waves are constantly flowing all around us. And I have the power to sense them. Which is why I know your height and weight, and that your hair's up. Are you serious? Completely. Using this technique increases not only one's awareness, but physical capability. When one learns to use Tao, one is granted godlike bodily prowess. But to master it, you must control your thinking, neither too loud, nor too quiet. Tao is in your soul. With power and weakness. Yin and yang, still and moving, all in balance. Understanding that cycle is the key to harnessing Tao. The place between rage and calmness, or both together. It's important to concentrate on achieving that state of mind. If you can do it, it's easier to detect the waves. Buddhism calls it the middle way. That mental state allows a person to surpass their limits. For example, one might withstand a force beyond their own strength, or survive an injury that should have been fatal. <sighs> Again, that skill can't be acquired immediately. There's a great deal that I still don't know about it. Then at least teach me to fight! Even that's far too advanced. You hold your weapon all wrong. Huh? Okay, then how should I hold it? Uh... <sighs> First, keep your left hand on your center line. Your right shoulder and left foot should face the same way. Only tighten your grip in the moment when you attack. Otherwise, hold it loosely. Hmm? And don't Did he really change his mind and decide to teach me just like that? Is he dumb? Is it a trick? <laughs> Killing is a terrible sin. We must remember that all forms of life are precious. Master! Be mindful of your strike speed, and keep your blade clean so it lasts longer. All things in life produce a specific wave, and I have the power to sense them. Don't rely on force. Utilize the weight of your weapon. Save your strength. Don't turn your hips till the last moment. Knees low, chest high. 
Regrettably, I can't be your master. I have an important job to do here. That said, you can learn and train on your own. They'll give him my old master! Still, we clearly don't stand a chance against them. I need to improve my skills. But this place doesn't allow me that kind of time. Oh, great. These jerks never leave us alone. I'm guessing Tao is the only way to take out the Tenzin. But we aren't gonna get a chance to experiment with it outside of combat. Oh well, the best place to learn how to fight is on the battlefield, right? We've got plenty of practice targets! Hey! Go ahead and teach me how to use Tao, would you, little lady? Ha <laughs> ha! Have to admit, he is enthusiastic. Wait a sec. Who's that? If you throw humans into the pit, they'll eventually become one with the flowers. You made something really amazing, Mudan. Now that it's there, we'll have a much easier time harvesting Tan. When you throw someone in, you shouldn't kill them. How do we know they can't get out of the pit, though? It's too deep for an injured human to climb all the way up. If they try, the walls will block their escape. The ones who've turned want everyone else to come to their side. So they grab on and don't let go. Force won't work. We need to reassess this. What should we do? That's obvious. We'll kill him. Let's go. Uh, no. We should find a way off the island. We're killing those shitheads, Toma. But, brother. I said we're gonna kill those shitheads. Uh, right. Then we'd better come up with a plan of attack. Planning would be a waste of time. So, how do we defeat them? That's easy. Their weakness is in their lower bodies. When I cut that monster in two before, it didn't regenerate from its head or its heart. It started from somewhere in the bottom half instead. The weak spot's the navel or the groin. That's my guess. These things are kind of plant-like, so I figure it makes sense if their bottom halves are like roots that grow upward. You're so smart! Somehow you always know what to do. Huh? What's up with you? Oh. I was just taking that in. Sorry, what? Oh, right, I get it now. <clears throat> so you're ready to eat some monster flesh? Took you long enough. No, it's not that. And I don't think that's a monster. Just eat it. If you don't keep your strength up, then you won't make it. The brother! Ah, I see you two are still alive. <clears throat> Forgive me for not announcing my presence first. But there's no need for you to be afraid of me. Stay back! Tell Don't us who you are! asking. It's just a monster. Slaughter it. On the contrary. I'm more than capable of reason. I've simply come here to investigate certain matters on orders from the Tensen. Why don't we talk for a while? Huh? The Tensen? You mean those annoying things that can switch between male and female bodies? Indeed. They are our masters. My colleagues and I have spread out across the island. Our objective is to locate all of the humans who've arrived here recently. My kind are known as the Doshi. The Doshi? I'm pretty sure that monster said something about Soshin. Then you've misunderstood. The Soshin are defective beings, lacking in intellect. They are scum who aren't permitted to enter Horai. However, the Doshi serve the Tensen directly, as their right hand. We reside within the palace, studying under the Tensin, looking after them, and handling troublesome tasks. That is our purpose. You said Horai, and a palace? Now I implore you to. Please go back into the hole so that you may become town. <laughs> you brute. Brother! 
How can this man be so strong? Where did you get that power? Did you consume the Tao? Quit yapping. You see, I'm trying to get my hands on those Tencent. And if you work for them, then beating you is the fastest way to get to them. So this works out pretty well for me. I'll force some answers out of you. Very well. If you don't care to resolve this peacefully, then I'm prepared to respond accordingly. You are a sinful and foolish human. Soon you'll realize that you would have been much better off becoming Tarn. Brother... Soma! You kill the small fry. Don't let me down. Understood. You can just focus on him. This one is formidable. But his endurance is fading quickly. One look at the flow of his Tao and it's obvious. It's astounding how well he moves despite his condition. But it's no use. Foes who cannot use Tao amount to nothing. He has the predisposition for it, but attacks that are weak in Tao are not only ineffective, I can also heal from them instantly. He's impressive, but... His misguided Tao creates a blind spot that I can exploit. Much potential wasted on a feeble human. They break so easily. Get away from him! I should return his body to the hole while Brother! he's still alive. Talk to me! That would be most reasonable. Brother! <laughs> Pretty damn stupid to let your guard down. Toma! Don't just stand there gawking at us. I told you to take care of those nobodies. Uh, right. I apologize, brother. His throat regenerated, but how? He's a frail, human, soft and vulnerable. Unless, down in the hole, they merged with him? I got a question, Ugly. What's that strange vibe I sensed coming off you earlier? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Tao? Your kind shouldn't be able to detect it. Come on, quit trying to stall and give me an answer. Let me guess. That stuff is what gives you monsters your power, isn't it? <laughs> Which means it's probably the key to killing the Tencent. His Tao has changed. It's much denser than it was before. This man is dangerous. I can feel it. He must be your blood raider. Can't see it! He's small, but still pretty strong. Fortunately, I think I figured out his secret. <laughs> His Tao continues to grow. Perhaps the vines have allowed him to surpass his normal limits. He's always been good at adapting. But at this rate, if he keeps going... I'm not sure what's happening to me. But I gotta admit, the timing is pretty damn convenient. You're quite courageous. Don't you fear these changes to your body? What if you lose your humanity? So what? Nothing in this world lasts forever. I know that well. There's only one thing that really needs to stay the same. Of course. Your sense of self? Wrong again. What are you doing, brother? You two obviously come from wealth. People disrespect us because of your privileged upbringing. I can make you two look like real bandits, though. First up, <laughs> the little one. Have you lost your mind? What the hell are you doing to yourself? <laughs> you still think we look classy? If so, be my guest. Slice me up however you want. A monster wouldn't get what I'm talking about. Nobody understands. <laughs> now, I want a better look at what you can do! <laughs> 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 oh. 
I knew it! That is the same for all of your kind. Your weakness is in your stomach. His tower keeps getting bigger. Is he truly a human? I'm starting to see it. I could tell you were radiating something, but now I can make out that it's actually wrapped around your body. Uh, Soshim, to me, quickly! Sorry, no such luck. They're dead, my condolences. Ooh. Don't back away. Show me more of your abilities. I want to find out the secret to your strength. <laughs> Interesting, so that's how you gather it. <laughs> Does shrouding yourself in this energy do anything for your defenses? It breaks so easily. This can't be. My attacks were basically ineffective against the other one. Should I have wrapped myself in this stuff first? Impossible. Seems like there's more to it than that. Oh well. That's fine. I'll learn. So this... is Tao? You shouldn't be able to- ah! Whoa! <laughs> Nice! These bastards can be killed! I see your towel so clearly as you lay there on the brink of death. <laughs> Don't go dying on me! I've got plenty more questions for you to answer. First, I want you to tell me where the Tensin are. I could be wrong, but it looks like his scars are growing. Huh? They're a problem? <laughs> hey, you gonna help me or what? Right, sorry. Let's get him tied up. With everything that's happened, I'm glad my brother is alive and feeling strong, but is he really okay? And these scars, they look less like lacerations and more like vines. <laughs> what do you say, little lady? Impressive fighting skills, huh? Too, too strong. Just you watch. I'll master this towel thing in no time. <sighs> Tao is stronger, weaker. Stronger, stronger. No, no. Yeah, and now you've lost me. Like this? Stronger? No, stronger. This then? Not right. Stronger. Tao is stronger, weaker. I've never been too good at word games, kid. You saying I can't rely on brute force? <laughs> Gotta admit, he's strong for a runt. Is that his Tao? Thanks to both of them, I'm flush with bodies. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Analyzing these monsters. Each one of them has a different internal structure. For instance, these two may look similar, but one has the guts of a fish, while the other has normal human insides. Which means... <sighs> Each monster has a different weak spot. And while we're on the subject of biological mysteries... <laughs> I can't get a read on her. Who or what is she exactly? Back then, it looked like she used some strange power to carve away the cliffs so we could escape. No ordinary girl could do that. Not a human one, at least. And I made her cry again. She still acts like a scared child. Hey, Shinobi! Quit upsetting her! You're gonna turn a lot of girls away with that glare! You think that matters to me? I'm happily married. Huh? Then let me put it another way. As your master, I'm telling you not to make this kid cry. I'm no one's underling. The Hollow was more human than they say. Hm. Stop! 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 Please! You got someone waiting at home? It's her. You think there's only one? Oh. I've been searching for you in secret, Mei-sama. Mei-sama? It's been centuries since Mei-sama was banished from the palace. When she suddenly ran away from Horai, we had no idea where she had disappeared to. Rien-sama forbade us from going after her. Fortune has smiled upon us. I'm overcome with joy. Let us return to the others together. We're in dire need of your particular form of help. What do you want with her? I could ask you that. I don't know how you found me, Sama. 
but it is beneath her to travel in the company of inconsequential humans. You are simply cattle for her to feed from, as you are for the other Tensen. He's saying what I think he is. She is a Tensen? So she's not human after all. Please return to Horai. Lead us to our full potential. Without your help, I don't know how we'll grow stronger. Getting involved in this would cost me valuable time and energy. I might lose sight of my true goal, the reason I joined this expedition. Do I really want to take that risk? Well... What are you doing, human? Sorry, can't help it. This matter does not concern you. It would be a mistake to come between us. You're right. That's a bad move. I don't know all the facts. Besides, fighting will be a major hassle. To be honest, this isn't like me. I'm surprised I'm stepping in. The thing is, I don't want to see this girl cry again. Don't know when I got soft. You have become a nuisance. But that makes no difference, as you were always destined to be turned into town. Oh, more insects! She comes with us. Stand down. Hold on. Is he bossing those butterflies around? Time for a little payback. Okay. It's obvious these two are able to control insects. What's the scope of their power? It's risky to attack without knowing. One of these disgusting butterflies cost me my left hand. It's only polite to think them properly. Um, how about some gratitude for me too? Since I upgraded, or patched up your left hand. I think you may have missed his sarcasm. No, I'm serious. You might be surprised how much life can be improved by a major loss. The amputation made my swordsmanship STRONGER! Ah! Yeah, nice move. More invisible attacks. These things use them too? Don't charge in recklessly. You have no idea what the rust is. I get it. Must be using Tau. What? I have no patience for that! You stay out of my way, Underling. You're in my way, and I don't serve you. I'm gonna smash every last butterfly. You impudent humans are no match for us, and Mei-sama is of no concern to you. Why do you protect her? Good point. The old me might have left her behind. Since we got here, I haven't been acting like myself. I don't feel bad about that, though. I'm just helping someone who helped me out. That simple. Why are you so obsessed with a girl? From what I can tell, she's not interested in going back with you. The Doshi study Tao and hope to eventually master its use. And Mesama plays an essential part in our training regimen. Ha! <laughs> Didn't expect monsters to care about their training. Tao exists within all things. You may just be pathetic humans, but I will teach you before you become Tang. There are five steps to mastering Tao. Doin, Taisoku, Shuitsu, Shuten, and finally, Bochu Jutsu, which is most important. That's when two partners circulate yin and yang, or in simpler terms, it requires Congress. What does Congress mean? He's talking about sexual intercourse. What? Ha! So you train by screwing? Ridiculous. It's a noble practice. Living things possess either yin or yang ki. The goal is to grow one's Tao to the point that both circulate within one body. First, one prepares through training, such as Doin and Taisoku. Then two parties and their yin and yang are joined. This is Bochu Jutsu. When Tao is enhanced in this way, it's said to possess the power to change the laws of nature. Our masters, the Tensen, are the ones who created this particular technique. In addition to performing Bochu Jutsu, the Tensen are transcendent beings who can circulate yin and yang of their own accord. They heighten their Tao through repeated exchanges and conversions of yin and yang. They've done this for a thousand years in order to achieve the greatest possible level of Tao. Yin and yang relate to the sexes. In the case of the Tensen, there is no division. The circulation of Qi... 
Is that why they shift between male and female? Ordinary creatures only possess one or the other, so they require a partner for yin yang circulation. We doshi are male. We have yang ki. Mei sama has yin, and her ki is of the highest quality. Joining with Mei sama and combining her yin with our yang allows us to perform beautiful bochu jutsu. So, in other words, don't finish that thought. I'm gonna vomit. Though Mei Sama and the Tensen share similar origins, she is inferior compared to them. Since she possesses only Yin Ki, Rian Sama offered her two paths for her future. Be put down like a dog, or remain in Horai as our training partner. Rian Sama scarred her body as a permanent reminder of her place in this world. When Mei Sama disappeared from Horai, our training went awry. She must return so we can continue honing our Tao. Now I understand why she's afraid of you. Everything you represent is disgusting. Hmm. <laughs> A human wouldn't understand. All right, I'm gonna kill that centipede guy. <laughs> I've made unexpected choices ever since we got here. It's like I've been discovering new sides of myself. Surprising myself. <sighs> Apparently, I find this unforgivable. So she was marked? How can you talk about her like she's an object? What a pity. It will be quite difficult to turn you into Tom. Sinjutsu false Kishika. I'll do you where you stand. Go ahead and try! Perfect. Now these two weirdos have turned into even bigger monsters. That Tenson transformed as well. Is this the same ability? We can't afford to lose against them. That could! Their attacks are easier to dodge now that they've changed. I'm dizzy. Did I inhale some of their scales? This may be tougher than I thought. Help, underling! I'm busy! It's hard. That's fine. Don't burn. They're not as strong as the Tensin, but I still can't see their Tao. The butterflies are bad news! Neepo Pyro Brace! Stop! Imagine me, Sama! Tao, the invisible power. In order to defeat them, I need to be able to detect it better. There's no time to test out different methods. We have to win. If only I could understand what the girl said. The girl suggests you relax. <laughs> if you want to see Tao, then your mind must be both strong and weak at the same time. How do you know? Well, it's essentially the same way that Sugita Genpaku translated the famous Tafel Anatomie. I simply deciphered her words and asked her to demonstrate for me. In order to help me understand my own Tao, she reached out and touched it directly. I sense something, sure, but can't see it. Seeing Tao requires more training, not to mention a very specific state of focus. When it comes to you, I believe the strategy is to weaken your mind. Now... <laughs> weaken it? But I'm trying to fight here. Doesn't matter. Tao is a visual representation of life force. Without both strength and weakness, it can't be detected. Where would I even begin? Strong is fruit of the weak. Weak is seed of the strong. That's not weakness. You're growing strong. Strong and weak. Oh, important. I doubt this is the kind of thing that can be learned on the go. No, I'm good. I mostly get it. What? Mostly? Wait a sec! So big! Uh. Mato. How big? That feeling. Huh? He's dodging. Wait, is he seriously picking this up? He's an Iwugakure Shinobi. <laughs> I've heard some of them use superhuman abilities. 
Even if he didn't know the term Tao, he's probably mastered similar techniques. This is Gabimaru the Hollow's true nature, the result of training to the point of losing his humanity. I can predict the target and direction of his attacks based on how his Tao moves, and I can feel the monsters behind me. I trained endlessly in my time at Iwagakure, but no one there ever mentioned this feeling. I can sense the strong around me, and the weak as well. Every essence. By accepting my own weakness, I'm able to detect the weakness in others. This is the space between an armored heart and a vulnerable one. A combination. It's like I'm awash in conflicting waves. This is her strength. By wavering, she actually gains power. Both stronger and weaker. I know the intention and placement of each and every insect that makes up this massive shell. It's almost like predicting the ripples that will form when a drop of water falls into the sea. Ninjutsu? No. I can't believe a human is capable of such a feat. He is like our masters. Oh. There's no way for you to win. I think I'm finally on the same level as the Tenson now. He learned to detect Tao in such a brief amount of time? And with absurd precision! Answer this. Are there more of you? Where are the Tenson hiding? This is the end for me, so I'll talk. Apart from myself, two other Doshi were instructed by the Tenson to spy on the humans who arrived on the island. We were told that this is a unique group. That if we didn't do something about you, you could become a threat to us. It would seem the Tenson were right. Not so fast! I'm the boss, so stop stealing my thunder, underling! The finishing blow is mine! I told you! Ninpo, Stone Storm! Centipede mode! So this is... Horai. Son, I thought you were dead. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't be enough to kill him. It'll simply speed up his transformation into a full-fledged tree. Is that true? It's a shame, but such is my fate. At the very least, I pray that my soul will be welcomed into Horai. All that stuff you mentioned? About the souls and Jujun whatever? Well, funny enough, none of it is true. What? It's a convenient lie. Our master's way of maintaining order here. This island is a place for experiments. You and the others like you were all prototypes created as test subjects. But... The humans who come to the island are research materials. They all serve a grand purpose. These are Kyoshi. I made them using humans. Are you saying that... that they were... Yes. They came here, just as you did. I love toying with humans, so I usually end up playing with them. I simply can't help myself. However, this isn't the way that we typically use them. High-quality ones become Ton. Ton? You mean the elixir of life? Elixir? Funny you should mention that. All humans who come here say the same. It's been called so many things. Uchimizu, Tukichiku no Kagi no Mi... But regardless of what you call it, I'm afraid there's nothing like that here. Tan is essential to us, but it turns ordinary humans into trees when they consume it. Hoko and the flower people have eternal life, but not eternal youth. My associates have been researching that, but they haven't finished their work as of yet. Either way, I can guarantee you that the elixir you're looking for isn't on this island. There's no elixir of life. So, what'll happen to him? Without it, there's no way for him to receive the pardon. 
Now, I'm sure you understand that your journey must end here. So I'd like you to come along with me, please. There are things I want to do with you. Uh Nimpo, substitution. I can kill any monster, so I'd say he's taken care of. That just leaves those little lackeys. But they look pretty zoned out, so let's get away while we can, okay? Soggy! I just need a moment. <sighs> Thanks a lot for having my back earlier. Even though I ran for my life. And there's no elixir, so that's a bummer. Trust me, I understand. <clears throat> but still, our top priority is our survival. As long as we're alive, we'll figure everything else out. So we just have to make sure that we don't die. Switch gears. It's time to run. Agreed. Hurry up, Santa! Right! What a nice girl. You've got real potential. <laughs> One correction, though. The Kyoshi aren't my underlings. They're merely my playthings. See? Had you fooled, huh? No. You dodged it. You're a sharp one. Better yet, you can see Tao, can't you? Back in my village, people used to call it Ki. But yeah, I think we're talking about the same thing here. Sadly, you're not applying it as well as you could. But if you like, I could teach not you. Not so fast! <laughs> if this will decide her life or death, then you'll have to go through me. Because... That's why I'm here. The other two do seem to have some aptitude for it. But that's not enough to hold my interest. Shinobi, I'd be happy to teach you the use of Tao. You might possess the talent for Bochu Jutsu. If not, you'll make excellent time. It looks as though you're already his favorite. <laughs> Shut up! It's strange to see Senta Dono draw his sword. And for a death row criminal, no less. Does he... Secretly have feelings for her? I'm only interested in the shinobi woman. Away with you. Sucky! Don't bother fretting over her. That move was distant strike. It's done by gathering and launching one's towel. But ordinary humans can't do it, so just forget that one. You need to begin with the most basic principles. Uh, uh, how did you... Out of my way, fat boy. As I told you before, you'll have to go through me first. And besides that... Back off, but... Santa! Oh. If nothing we can do will kill him, then I might as well try everything. Ninpo, slime string. With my ninjutsu, I can swallow poisons and secrete them into my skin. The stuff is soluble snake poison. Ninpo, nectar prison. And then? Ninpo, Grim Garot. That ability is an application of Tao, isn't it? If you can metabolize poison, then you're a superhuman. But the way you use it is too haphazard. I think you'd benefit from a bit of fine-tuning. If we can create the right opportunity, then we can defeat him! <laughs> you think so? In that case... Why don't we go ahead and give it a try now? Venta! You're in the way! Well, you're in my way too! <laughs> Tao is a feeling. If you learn how to wear it like clothing, then you can sense it coming from any direction. But unless you master the use of Tao, you're merely human. You're no match for us. Not even close. That said, I welcome you all to Horai. How can we ever hope to win this? Hokosan, tell me, do you know if the Tensen have any weaknesses? Tensen are gods. If this is divine punishment, then I will accept it. I understand that, but... Please! Just help us one more time! Do it for May at least! Even the tiniest hint will do. That substitution trick you did? Believe it or not, that was Tao. And it's the same kind I use. 
Interesting. You learned something akin to our hojutsu by training on your own. Anyway, I guess I'll kill off a big guy. <gasps> Somebody recovers quickly. Too bad you still can't do anything, though. You've only got an ordinary amount of talent. Legends say Tao originates from our Tandon, travels through the body, and returns to the Tandon once more. So if you manage to sever that... Nice try. But it's hopeless nonetheless. For one thing, you don't have enough Tao. No matter where you cut me, I'll regenerate. I'll admit the Shinobi girl is talented. But none of you, including her, have mastered Tao enough to prevail against me. I realized something when I got close. You are the same. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's just as I expected. How did she do that? The size of one's tower is controlled by the mind. Is she the type who manifests it on the spot? But that's not what concerns me the most. I'm starting to think she's actually... Yusuriha-san! Yeah, I saw. He got cut. But he's not healing. As soon as I approached, I could sense a strange aura. If that's what Tao is, then I know exactly how to cut through it. I've noticed that same aura from Gabimaru before. Rokurota, the giant of Bizen, had it too. I remember. Are you suggesting that those two were harnessing Tao as well? It's just a guess. So if we want to beat him, we need to possess more than a certain amount of Tao. And I guess Sagi can increase hers temporarily if she uses breathing techniques. My question is, why can't he regenerate now? I'll take care of this problem quickly. Your Tao is quite unusual. Oh, and it's poisonous to me as well? My. Huh. How exciting. I wonder what kind of ton you'll produce. Or perhaps you might be able to kill me. Hold on, Sakari-san. Our foe is strong. We three should work together. Hojutsu. Earth Yin Night Pilgrim. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> He reduced his Tao as much as possible so that we couldn't detect him. My substitution works the same way. Cut him down, Sagi! I need my mind to be both still and back to Kyoshi, kill the shinobi girl for me! Thank you, Zenda. I am on your side. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about teamwork! Thanks again, buddy! Of course! <laughs> you keep hesitating. It makes it easy for me to dodge everything. This breathing technique is exhausting. I can't do it for long. <laughs> you three work well together. Now's my chance. Adorable. He can fly? Hojutsu, Earth Young Sky Pilgrim. By manipulating the Tao in the atmosphere, one can even gain the ability to walk on air. So I realize... To those who don't understand, <laughs> I surely must seem like a god. Another advantage of Tao. Senjutsu, Tin Splinter. <laughs> My vision's blurring. That technique drains me of more than just my stamina. I can't keep fighting. I know it's hard, but you can't give up, Soggy. If I had to guess, I'd say our opponent's getting anxious. Notice how the focus seems to be on dodging your attacks. So, if Tao has different types, then yours must have the advantage in this battle. But that monster is strong. Monster, exactly. 
not a god, which means it can die. I'll hold it still while you make the final blow. You're awfully confident. Of course I am. I won't die here, so I won't. It's simple as that! Wasted effort. Yuzuriya! Why don't you dodge? You'll die. Now get down here and fight me! You wanna be God? I'll kill anyone who tries to interfere with my life! Even if you were a real God, I'd kill you! Now it's your turn, Saki! All right! Such an obnoxious little girl. Oh, oh, excellent work, Yuzuri Hassan. Oh, oh. You can't regenerate, and you can't evade her sword. You idiot. You're going to be cut down oh. with me. Make sure that you only hit him, Sakari san You can count on me! Pretty dead now. I guess we were right about their weakness being in the stomach. It was a gamble. But you and I did it. So did I. Hoko-san, are you? It's surprising, but I believe I am all right. That's a relief. That monster was tough. I can't believe there are six others. That power they called Tao. It's even more of a mystery than Hoko-san described. I feel strangely weak now. Did we really win that easily against one of the Tensin? On top of that, the most distressing part is that there's no elixir of life. What are we supposed to do next? Eh, we'll figure something out, I guess. Because if it doesn't exist, then it doesn't exist, you know? Oh, man, my skin is super dry after that. Hey, look, these statue things are made of gold. If we bring some back, maybe they'll forget about the anyway, elixir. <laughs> it's time for a rest. A Agreed. Mouse. Nothing gets her down so vivacious. I could be wrong, but it seems like you have special feelings for her. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, it's just... I suppose I envy how free-spirited she always is. To me, that's a foreign concept. I'm not sure what you mean. As a child, I wanted to become an artist. But in my family, all boys had to take the same path, studying the sword under the Yamada clan. I couldn't defy that tradition. So I was miserable. I resented the Yamadas. And I hated testing swords and killing. I spent a lot of time trying to rationalize all the bloodshed. That's why I'm so knowledgeable about various religions. Ironically, since that made me a good student, my rank just kept on rising. Eventually, I gave up and closed off my heart. I began to focus on nothing but my work. I see. So you don't actually care about this job or the Yamada clan at all, do you, raccoon dog? Um, I... Try to hide it if you want. Can't fool me. Since meeting her, I can't count how many times I've been confounded by her cold, cruel behavior, and how she seems to see right through everything. I suppose what I mean is, as someone who's always lied to himself, to see someone lie to everyone but herself is wondrously baffling. She's as free as one can be, and that makes me so jealous that I can hardly bear it. Perhaps I've fallen for that ninjutsu of hers. How can I call myself an Asaimon if I admire a killer? <laughs> no. I understand. <gasps> well, a little of it anyway. So it does make sense. Kind of. I've got a suggestion for us sent to Dono. Why don't we try to save everyone who came to this island? Sagari Sod. All right. So, I know how to sense Tao, but my use of it needs work. Easy there. 
We can ask them about the elixir if you slaughter them all. No. Though, judging by what she said before, she knows something too. Yeah, and those monsters did some disgusting stuff to her. So I feel like asking her to show us the way would be pretty cruel. Listen, you must have had a good reason for following me here, right? If you need something, then please tell me what it is. I mean, you've saved me twice now. Sagi's record said... Despite his reputation, this man isn't heartless. He does have human feelings, but they only show when it comes to a certain person. She says that he's heartless, most of the time. But the way he's been acting so far doesn't match that. How will this soft side affect his ability to fight? Uh, <gasps> what the? Uh-huh. There's something... Hey. Huh? Is it just me, or are there, like, way more flowers here now? Yuzuriha! She was a killer, a sinner. I thought her fate was common sense, but then everything I assumed I knew was cast into the wind. I can't get close, and I don't need to, as long as I can stay by her side and keep watching her. It's all right for me to draw pictures right now. I feel like I was in the middle of doing something else, though. Well, that's fine. I'll draw another one. Yes, I'll draw one more and another. to kill it again even though we saw how the first attempt turned out so i'm not too hopeful <laughs> the flowers stopped growing but he looks really bad hoko san what do we do I haven't the slightest idea how to help him. I didn't even know the truth about what the tents had actually were. Give me some space. Mm -hmm. I have a salve that'll stop the bleeding. Though it might be too late now. No, you can't waste it on me. I'm going to die. See you, Dodo! I wouldn't be too worried about him. One, he's super strong. And two, Facing those things is the whole reason we're here. I know he's going to win this fight. Autumn rains. Delicious 
<laughs> oh dear! <laughs> you have a death wish too? <laughs> I don't intend to die today. Although, if that's what it takes to beat you, then so be it! He's intense. It's kind of scary. He's lost too much blood. Master. You killed me! <laughs> I practiced using my waves as much as I could. But this will still be a difficult fight. Can my body hold out long enough for me to kill an immortal creature? Someone has to help him. Uh, no way! You can barely stand! I know, but I have to fight. Although, it sounds like he's accepted that he's going to die. That thing's too strong to face alone. We can at least attack from the sides to give him an opening. Okay, fine. If the three of us attack all at once... What? Uh, nope, not gonna happen. I'm totally out of fuel here. Is that so? Feel better now? From a hug? Why didn't it work? How about you? I feel slightly more energized. You better now? Uh, I think so. What did you do to me? Same thing I used to do to Grandpa. When I tried it on my master, he told me that he got an energy boost. I've recovered a tiny amount of stamina. It seems that every creature produces waves, but their uses are somewhat varied. It's just like the elements of Wuxing philosophy. I'd prefer that you skip the embrace. A simple touch should be satisfactory. Okay! I see. These powers can have positive effects, like increasing someone's Tao. No, it's not the time to dwell on that. I can move so I can fight. Let's go. Good luck, you two. Sagiri, Noodle Guy, I told you to stay away. Uh, hold on. What are the bandages for? We can help. Trust me. I know the creature's weakness. You do? The source of its power is its tandem. Strike the navel to defeat it. <laughs> All right. But this monster has two bodies, both of which are surrounded by deadly flowers. I know. But look. We're covered in bandages and Yuzuri has poisonous secretions. They should protect us and keep flowers from growing. Is it necessary to lick me? Not at all. The child and I will be decoys. We'll attack it head on. Get behind the enemy when it's distracted. I know you have the speed. Strike both bodies. Watch out! <laughs> an athletic child. <gasps> wow, she's good. Impressive. She's sensing its Tao, too. She's predicting the creature's movements based on the flow of its waves. And doing it faster and more accurately than me. You've grown strong. I'm sorry. We'll try out your plan, Sagiri. But we'll have to play it by ear. Right! Tamashii Doria. Hard shower. Shiondono fight so fiercely. We could actually win this battle. I will keep striking, even if doing so means I die. <laughs> Run from the fight. 
A pitch black emotion has utterly consumed my mind and body. It's not resolve, it's hatred. And yet all my rage and frustration will never make up for the fact that all I could do in that moment was run away like a coward. I can never atone. Never. Never. Never! Yamada Asai Monsio, you will never be forgiven. Not until the enemy has fallen and your own life has ended! Gather every wave of power flowing through my body into one single point, and use them to temper my blade for one clean strike. Focusing one's waves is the same as focusing one's soul. If I'm not careful, I might perish. You've likely never faced your own mortality. So let me teach you how heavy and fleeting life can be. You will feel that fear! Wait, is this truly its weakness? According to Sagiri, this should be the source of its power, but I'm not sensing strong waves. I can't hesitate. Shion-san! The Amul! Senta! <coughs> this monster is like a plant, which means the Amul is its tendon. The nutrients for its flowers are concentrated there, where the petals sprout. That's its two weakness! Never attain such perfect yin and yang. If only I could show this to Rien. I've waited a thousand years. Thank you. Smarter to use it on him instead. What if you split the dose? I need to keep some for myself. A girl's gotta look after herself first, you know? Be rational. We can't drag an injured man around with us. Give up on him. No, we... There must be something. I thought you said we just had to stay alive. All of us. Shinobi are trained as realists. We see what can be overcome. And what's a waste of time, energy, and suffering? <laughs> I'm sure you feel it too. It's the end of your story. You can stop fighting. Try to forget about your job and your pride. You're free now. Relax. Let the world float away. You've lied to yourself for a long time, right? So be honest for a change. Think about whatever it is you love. Maybe your family, a pet cat, someone special back home. Hold them close, picture them in your heart. Focus on those things as you drift off. You can lean on me if you like. The things I love. My family back home. Kompeto. Kita Shigemasa's illustrated books. Resting in the arms of the person I admire. The situation spiraled out of control. We need to take stock of things. Good idea. 
Let's start with who the hell you two are. Mm. We should find some shelter first. Sagiri. Thank you for what you said earlier, Yuzuri Hassan. Hmm? Your cool head was once again a blessing. It no longer matters who's a criminal and who's not. We won't survive without each other. I suggest we focus our efforts on making it back alive. No one else dies here. We will leave this island together. I swear it. That's the first thing you do after waking up? You're like a scared cat. Sit back down. Where are we? A cozy cave halfway up the valley wall. You can thank me for carrying you. I don't remember. Looks empty. We should be able to rest here for a little while. Even so, we still need to keep our guard up. What are you looking for? Clothes. Mm. Hey, check it out. You look good in this, Soggy. Me too, right? Why would a guy wear this? <gasps> what? Hand it out! Don't be too loud! Soggy, I know that you're concerned, but you must be exhausted as well. We won't survive if we don't take care of ourselves. You're right. Attention, you two. You can keep playing dress up as long as you listen. Kay! We should review all the information we've learned so far. It could keep us alive. For starters, we know how to defeat the Tensen. What's required is Tao. Everyone innately possesses it. Once mastered, you can use it to perform superhuman abilities. That's what happened to you, Sagiri. Your experiences since we got here have strengthened your Tao. It's hard. I know. Yes. For all of us. Watch how you use your waves. Tao represents your very life. Use too much and you'll have to pay the cost. It's unclear what that cost might be. Perhaps mental or physical changes. It could even affect one's consciousness or memories. Or worse, kill you. If you want to talk about life and death, I'm down. But we've got a bigger problem than your waves. Huh? The elixir of life. There's no such thing here. It's not like we can go back home empty-handed. Right. The Shogunate won't accept excuses. Gabimaru said that an elixir does exist. His village chief was immortal. We must be able to find it somewhere else. Hmm. I've got a couple of theories. Maybe that was just an illusion. You mean... a trick? Yep. The type shinobi often use. You show something supernatural to a little kid, and you basically guarantee loyalty. <gasps> They'll get so spooked they won't dare go against the chief's orders. That's what they did in my village. Only a couple of high-level people knew the truth. What? I've actually got some questions about his backstory. What's really at play? You said Gabimaru wants to get back to the person he loves, right? Yes. His wife. A wife. That makes no sense. Shinobi are basically pawns for others. It's a bit different for girls, but I couldn't see a chief letting a young guy get married. Think about it. You can't control everyone using fear alone. They need stronger motivations if you're gonna send them on suicide missions. Wait. Just speculating. What are you but saying exactly? I can't remember. Has something messed with my head? Kabimaru having a wife? Sounds suspicious to me. Not sure I fully buy that whole story. Hold on. Slow down. What's her name? Has anyone seen her? Please. Maybe that was the chief's secret illusion. Does he even remember what she looks like? Anything? It's no use. I don't know where I'm at, or why I'm here. Who are they? Enemies? 
doesn't seem like it. All I know is who I am. I'm... Iwagakure's greatest ninja, Gabimaru the Hollow. The best course now is to play along while gathering info. I can't let them catch on. Gabimaru is... okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. You're not going to sleep? Maybe. Soon. Why are you dressed like that? My clothes were bloody, so I changed. I couldn't stand the sight. <laughs> That's it? Normally you appreciate my humor. Hope I'm not losing my touch. Oh no, you're as sharp as ever. It's me. I was... thinking. Aizen Dono. Genji Dono. Senta Dono. Kisho Dono. And Tensa Dono. This is only our third night here. But we've already lost so much. Then there's Gabi Maru. What is he doing right now? Do you... love him? It's not like that. Why is it that your mind always jumps straight to romance? Sorry. But you clearly feel strongly about him, in a way your status doesn't allow. So then, what are you, Zagabi Maru? Honestly, I... I have no idea. At all. He was born in a village of killers and bloodied his hands when he was ordered to. He's experienced love, which is the source of his suffering. Then there's... what Yuzuriha-san said. If he's been deceived into loving a phantom... No. It's too sad to imagine. He's a heinous murderer. And yet, I don't think he's a bad person. Which is why... I believe he'll be reunited with his wife. Yes, he refuses to give up. He'll make it back alive.